Ladies and gentlemen, we're here, Tornado Tag Podcast. Uh, we got a new face at the table. Is this your first episode? You, you've been yeah. here for one, right? One, one or one two? One or two. Yeah. yeah. So Jeff is joining us tonight. Um, you can, we'll, we'll do a quick plug now. You can check Jeff over at uh, Farlow's Deli. Um, he's busting out the guns tonight for you guys, yes. for you, for you, for you guys and girls. Don't know the address. Um, just voted best uh, sub, or ho- I don't want to say hoagie, because I think that... I hate that word. Best yeah. hoagie. I absolutely it hate that It is best hoagie. Best hoagie? It's it is the sub. best hoagie. It is the only hoagie. Yeah. Thank um, you. In, in school county. So what is? Where else is. would you go? I, well, listen, the one... How Sheets I, if you're clothes. Yeah. You know, that's about it. Yeah. Think, yeah. They got good stuff. The address, yeah. by the way, is 201 South Center Street yeah. in Pottsville. Yeah. 200, technically. Yeah. Oh. So the fun, how I got my introduction to Jeff is I, you know, he's like, hey, Steve, me and Steve every Friday would drink a lot of beers the night before, mm-hmm. wake up, walk to the pawn shop, buy a suit jacket that looked ugly, then walk to his oh, store boy. and got subs. And we did it for like a week. And yeah. then he's like, what are you guys doing again today? And we're like, dude, we're just going to go back and eat subs and watch the WWE Network and watch all pay review. And he's like, you're wrestling fans? And then it just sparked a love interest that hasn't died since. And then we'd get in trouble by by your uh, by your wife. She'd be like, "Guys, today's too busy. You got to no wrestling today." <laughs> um, See, have, I never knew when I was going there. We would talk hockey. Well, yeah. Well, there was there was also um, the time where we had there you go. Um, there was someone posted a, a poll. That's yes. Hoagie, and sub coincidentally, but it wasn't through. It was uh, like the Republican. It was just like a, a Facebook post. It was oh, a okay. Facebook and post. And he wrote and he tagged Subway. <laughs> yeah. And it came and it had our icon right next to it. Yeah. Far so it said, Farlow <laughs> Sub <laughs> recommends Subway. <laughs> and I was like, and you guys came in. You're that's, like, that's crazy. That's funny. Yeah, it was the funniest thing ever. Um, and it's funny. I, I said, because uh, we, we sometimes we'll have wrestling watch parties here or we, we, go, to, we go to Jeff's house and we watch them. Um, but we were going to go that. We went to the last peer review, and he's like, who's all coming? I was like, ah, probably just, you know, because Andy's not super into the WWE product right now. And, and Brian is? And Brian is, <laughs> is, is uh, he, he's, he's not leaving his house. And I, I, I completely understand. <laughs> they, they, say you can, they say you can't go your whole life living in fear. It turns out they're wrong. You, you totally yeah. can. <laughs> um, and then he said, Brian. I said, yeah. And he goes, roast beef. Because <laughs> uh, I guess true. Your, your sandwich. And provolone. And provolone. Yeah, roast beef and provolone. Yeah, he's just like. And I was like, wait, what? He's like, that was his sandwich. I was like, oh. <laughs> yep. We have more in common, too, with the ECW stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we're going to get into a lot of that, um, a lot of ECW history from this guy here. So hopefully he keeps joining us every week or every other week, whenever we can get him, because he has some awesome old school stories. Um, but, yeah, if you guys like what you hear, hit that like, subscribe button. Up in the right-hand corner, there's a little heart if you're watching yeah, on Twitch. Hit follow. It's somewhere up there. And if, oh, you're watching, that side. if you're watching the replay on Facebook or YouTube, um, the biggest thing we want to push, I know we have a merch page. You can hit all the links below. But we just created a group page on Facebook for all the podcasts. So we have our like page, and that's great. But the like page, you can't really interact with. The, you guys as the fans can't really interact as much. You, just, you can just comment on our post and agree or disagree. So we're giving the, you the platform on that group where if you have something that's going on or you want to write your own little what-if story or your own fantasy booking or you really want to get involved with the show and maybe it could be a topic we bring up on the show, that's what the group page is for. So if you guys really want to dive into that, um, join in and uh, join that group page and talk to us and we'll get into it. Um, I'm actually wearing the brand new logo t-shirt. Mm-hmm. Um, I will say it's not ch- a cheap plug to try to get you to spend more money, but go for the premium shirts. They're way better than the comfort ones. It's like five bucks extra. Yeah. It's way, it's, it's a hundred percent worth it. It's a better material. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah. I got it in military green. I think it looks cool, but let's check the chat real quick. Uh, Pia Paul drivers here. Hey man, what's going on? Uh, and, uh, Oh, it's Brian, humanoid. I always think that's going to be uh, Jack for a second there, but <laughs> yeah. So, um, all right, cool. Uh, Jack could just yell aloud. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> Brian, he's probably like in the next room. He just bangs on the wall. Brian! He, he, he's below me. I'm on the second floor. Oh, okay, he's yeah. the broomstick then. Yeah. Um, Paper down up there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's get into it. We're going to start off with uh, some, some history here. Go ahead, Brian. So this week in wrestling history, the first thing we have here is actually this day in wrestling history, July 30th, 1985, 35 years ago today, a very big debut in uh, in the WWF, Miss Elizabeth uh, made her debut as uh, the manager of Macho Man Randy Savage. Who is she? (laughs) Who is that girl? Great stuff like, leading up to that, too. Yeah, Macho Man was looking for the uh, manager. Yeah, yeah like Bobby all Ian the... All of them there. Yep. All, all the heel managers were, like, courting him, exactly. Yeah. Lassie, Albano. The Grand Wizard's still around then? Mm, I don't think. And also, 85, Slick. I don't think Wait, so. 85, Slick? I don't think Jimmy so. Hart? Yeah. Jimmy Hart? Like four Slick? or five. 
And uh, they were it was shortly after WrestleMania one. And Valiant? unfortunately, uh, we lost Lovely. Miss Elizabeth. So rest yeah. rest well, in peace. years ago. Yeah, I mean, not, <laughs> for those who don't know, yeah. it wasn't like it was recently. Yeah, it wasn't recently, but she's no longer with us. But um, how how high in your list do you have her as a manager? valet or manager? Uh, well, well, valet, she's probably number one. But manager, she'd be, I don't know, she'd be 10. Yeah. She yeah. wouldn't be top yeah, like, 10? No. Because as a manager, like, she wasn't very good. But as a valet, she was very good. It's, yeah. it's a little bit different. Yeah, absolutely. That's why, yeah. that's why I said manager, yeah. valet. Yeah. Yeah, Andy and I are about the same age, and back then your kids like, oh, Miss Elizabeth, yeah. And then now you're like, you look back, Sherry was so much better. Oh, Sherry was yeah. fantastic. But she they had a good moment with yeah. her and Sherry. Well, yeah. But the hotness yeah. factor. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And the, the rating was draw so hot. was My probably God. And she Elizabeth. was so, like, wholesome, too. Yeah. Like, she was a wholesome mm -hmm. girl. Like, she mm -hmm. wasn't out there with her butt cheeks hanging yeah. out. Yeah, well, not many were back there. But I mean, yeah. I know what you're saying. Yeah, definitely. That was definitely a crush in 85. Oh, yeah. I was 15. Miss Elizabeth. So, yeah, wasn't was her first poster, like, a hot seller? Like, First WD yeah. it, was, it was very 80s. It was like the the, the workout spandex, yeah. and she had like a like a the, the shirt with the sh exposed shoulder. Right yeah. yeah, yeah. Spencer's never had it in. I would I, I would hang that up right now. <laughs> <laughs> and just a little bit of backstory on on how she got involved. Uh, obviously, her and, and Randy Savage were married in real life at that point. And in fact, when they got married on TV in '91, that was toward the end of their marriage, uh, yeah. as it happened. But mm -hmm. She was the daughter of a station manager in Kentucky back uh, before he was in WWF. Randy's uh, dad, Angelo oh Papa, boy, who was also a wrestler, you? he was running uh, an outlaw territory. It was called ICW. They were running in opposition to the Memphis territory, the Jerry Jarrett, Jerry Lawler territory. And they, it was crazy. Like they would be running up and down the highways of uh, Western Tennessee with guns, like. <laughs> In case, I think, like, one time Bill Dundee and Savage almost started shooting each other at a gym or something like that. Wow. Uh, but El Elizabeth's father owned the station that they were on in Kentucky, and that's how they met, and she became, like, an on-air personality there, like, an, uh, like a uh, host. And then her and Savage got married. Uh, ICW went away. Savage went to Memphis for a little bit, did a program with Waller. He went to WWF, and, and she went along with him. Yeah. And there is a fantastic story of, of them and Macho Man on Dark Side of the Ring. If you haven't watched it already, go search it on YouTube. Or uh, if you have Hulu, it's on there. But Dark Side it's of the Ring. It's on Hulu Live. It's not on Hulu Regular. Isn't it? No. Oh, all right. Never mind. No. So if you have Hulu with TV, yeah. you can watch it. Yeah. But if not, it is on YouTube as well. People will put them I on there. I was disappointed. I was like, come on. Yeah. So uh, it is. It, the Dark Side of the Ring is an awesome documentary series. If you are a pro wrestling fan, even if you're not a pro wrestling fan, you can put those on and watch it with someone who's not because That's the right, stories yeah. are. Every one of them are outstanding. Yeah. The stories Every are fantastic. Like if you can watch Tiger King and you know nothing about wrangling tigers or just just if you watch the, Tiger just for the King, shark you're factor, an asshole. Yeah, but, just uh, the shock <laughs> factor of it. Those wrestling stories have enough content and enough like holy shit moments that I think if you like, you like, don't even have to be a wrestling fan yeah. to appreciate the stories. If you like like any type of. Uh, like docu series, or, yeah, or like yeah. any type of crime, even though it's not really crime. Some is, but yeah. you know, murder is. In and most of them have relatives of them on that yeah. are given the facts, so yeah. they're definitely yeah. believable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they like do. Lanny Poffo would be a they do a Lanny. fantastic Genius. job. Yep. And when, and when when Randy met Liz, he couldn't believe what she looked like. <laughs> And everyone he had said never that been taken by so much beauty. Everyone before. said that he had a, had a terrible relationship with her, but I'm here to tell you yeah. that's not true. And, and he, took and the, he took his bat and he broke it off the tree in the front yard. And he said, <laughs> "I will never play baseball again." And the people are like, <laughs> "He said what?" I was, <laughs> I was scheduled to win the world title yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I beat Hulk Hogan by, by, count, by count. That's right. <laughs> I love the genius. Yeah, I did too. Are, are they, are they yeah. going to do a dark side of the ring about the genius of hidden talent? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just <laughs> um, I was going to mention. <laughs> also, um, another thing is um, we, we're we going to be switching up our, uh, our unboxing. So we're still doing Pro Wrestling Trade. The new video is up where we did unboxing for mm -hmm. uh, Pro Wrestling T, a uh, Pro Wrestling T's version of Pro Wrestling Crate. But there's another one is like Pro Wrestling Crate. Or, I think it's I just called what, Loot. No, like, uh, Pro Wrestling Loot? Pro Wrestling Loot, thank you. Yeah, Pro Wrestling Loot. So we switched from Slam Crate to WWE Slam Crate. I think they owe me like four boxes. Ugh. None of them is shipped. Um, I'm you, just, should be, you should be able to be like, just give me credit. Yeah, and I'm just sick of them. Back. I'm yeah. sick of waiting. Loot Crate, I'm sorry. Like, I gave you a break during the COVID, but every other subscription box is getting in my door within a week. Yeah. And you're four months, be and it's a bi-monthly crate, yeah. and you're four <sighs> behind. <sighs> When I had Loot Crate, it was late. Yeah. That was before any... any so corona. I'm just, I'm over it. Like, listen, the stuff in the crate were good. The reason I bought it, you they took away with the reason I got them in the first mm -hmm. place were the pins, the title okay, belt yeah, pins. Yeah. Um, so this this crate that we're getting now, the the pro wrestling loot is um, 
it covers everything. Old WWE, mm-hmm. new WWE. Like the one box had a Finn Balor autograph. So there yeah. is an autographed item in it. So it's it's. AW Independent. Yeah, OH, it's everything. So it's going to be a. So keep an eye on that f- uh, now, for that. Uh, is every box the same? Like if you got one, I got one to be the same? I believe so. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's one of the, Yeah, it's one of those. And then uh, we're going to be doing horror, a new horror crate. We got rid of the, the horror crate for Loot Crate, and we got mm-hmm. one called uh, Bam Box Horror. So if you're, if you're into the unboxings, we do have a bunch of those over on our YouTube and the uh, Facebook pages according to the shows that we're doing. But uh, go ahead, Brian. Next topic. July 28th, 2007, Carl Gotch. Passes away at the age of 82. And, and I wish we had Matt Turner on the show this week because uh, this is somebody he could probably go on about for, uh, for quite a bit. Carl Gotch, he was uh, actually born Charles Istaz. Ooh, he was born in he was a Belgian. Yeah, that, well, that's why he was yeah. Gotch, obviously yeah. from Frank Gotch. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he competed under his real name in both Greco-Roman and freestyle wrestling in the 1948 Olympics in London. Then he went into pro wrestling he was very instrumental in basically creating the foundation of Japanese wrestling as we know it. They call him the god of wrestling in Japan. Wow. Uh, he, he was there with like Riki Dozen and the very, very early Japanese wrestlers and, and really shaped the style, that authentic like shoot style, if you want to call it that. Mm-hmm. He even trained a lot Strong of the guys style, like Maeda, who uh, wound up creating UWFI and a lot of those type of things of rings. And uh, he actually won the main event of the very first ever New Japan show on March 6, 1972. Uh, he defeated Antonio Inoki in that Oki. match. And then he also trained uh, somebody that's very popular now, Minoru Suzuki, uh, as, a, as a Carl Gotch protege. And that's why he uses the Gotch style pile driver, where you, the cradle pile driver. Didn't they put that on the title? Well, the one, isn't the, TNA, the TNT title have the, are the tag team titles? I think, yeah, yeah. yeah. But they said it was driver. like, yeah, because Jerry Lynn. But yeah, he, but he that's where, to, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it does. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I forget the better uh, logo. TNT it. title is uh, going to be it's taken back August to finished. Oh well, yeah, it's going to get 12th, finished. Yes. Yeah, which is like, what? What was doing? Like, what, like I understand. Like, hey, it's uh, behind because of COVID. Well, why? Like, yeah. it's not like you're making tons of. You're making one. Yeah. Like, was what it, was the guy doing? Did like, the laser printer shut down? <laughs> yeah. Or something? yeah. Yeah, I ran out of gold. <laughs> ran out. Um. All right. Our next one. Uh, this is one Jeff might have something to chime in on with. Uh, July 29th, 2001. So it was 19 years ago yesterday. Promoter Dennis Coraluzzo oh, passed away. How about that? I seen someone post on Facebook about re- Dennis Coraluzzo. I remember Dennis Coraluzzo. I was at the show when uh, Shane won the NWA title or the Eastern Championship Wrestling yeah. title, I believe it was. And I remember seeing, and when he threw that belt down and started going off, and I, I could totally tell that something special was going on. And Dennis Caraluzzo was ringside for that, I believe. And the yeah, look on his the face. Title. You were right the first time. Was it? Okay. And I just remember the look on his face. And he was like, what, you know, what the hell is going yeah. on here? What the hell is going on? What is he doing? It was this legit. Isn't it? Yeah, it was yeah. definitely legit. I was mean, that was... NWA Wild Side that he ran? No, it was NWA New Jersey. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, they ran like a lot of South Jersey. Yeah. And and there was always like a back and forth with them in ECW. He would try to like like contact people like this is this violent company. He would try to get them shut down that and things like, like that. That was like ninety three, right? Yeah. yeah. What, what, year, what year did you say it was? Uh, ninety three or ninety four. Well, he yeah. passed away two thousand one. I thought, okay, yeah, that moment. Yeah. But that's a that's a that's a pretty iconic moment. You that's, were in house that day. I, I've yeah. seen a lot of special moments for like a lot of different wrestling Let's federations. See. Of all of them, and, that's number one on my list. And all these guys. <laughs> he starts saying, "Can kiss my ass." <laughs> yes. um, yeah, that was a good one. That's that was, your that's your all time fave right there. One of your yep. all time frames, right? Yeah, Shane he was Douglas, a super nice guy, Shane Douglas. You know, after that had happened, and I had met him a few times out, outside of the, well, inside the arena. But you, you were know, a super fan. Like yeah, you, I was you, super... you knew where to hang out, what door to be yeah. around, yes. where they were going after the show. Yeah, and he was one of the most humble and <laughs> nicest guys there was. Yeah, I met Shane a couple yeah. times. Did super, a couple shows he was a super guy. Nice. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, um, Moran, Moran's first match ever. Like really? uh, for his w- like his first guy that he yeah. worked was Shane Douglas. Oh, you mean the fir- first guy ever or first yeah. like name? First name. He oh, worked. okay. And okay. it was one of his first matches. Like, was, it was very really? early. Wow, how about that? I, and I believe it was a oh, four way sure, match. Would've... It was Moran and somebody else was in that. I might have been Trajan. Wow. I think it was Tr- mm. Moran and because Tr- I had two people on the show that had the same exact story, saying that they were kind of told that they were going to work this Shane guy. We don't know who yeah. the Shane guy is, but you're going to work this dude Shane. And he's like, he's in the locker room now if you want to go talk to him. And they walked in and Shane Douglas in there taping his wrist up. And he's just like, holy fuck. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> like, he would show you what to do. I just yeah. listened to him. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. 
He was good at what he did. He was yeah. super good in the ring. Yeah. It's a shame he never... Like, when he got to WCW, it was, it was dying, so... It know. seemed like yeah. he didn't play the politics game, and that's kind of what ruined yeah. him on the I mean, he was, I think he was WCW World Champion in, like, 2000 or 2001, yeah. I think. But, I mean, by that... I don't think he ever won the world title. I think he had, like, the U.S. title at yeah. one point, yeah. though. At that, and it was the shits, so... Yeah, he seemed he like he didn't... with Big John, didn't he? Dynamic yeah, the, dudes, yeah. Yeah, there you go. The yeah. skateboards. All right. Yeah, what's uh, dudes. What's our next one here? <laughs> the, there's a great thing with that. Oh, I think sure. it's in Philly, too. It's at the Civic Center where it's the Dynamic Dudes against the Midnight Express. My favorite. And the Midnight Express turn on them, and the crowd just goes nuts because they hated the Dynamic <laughs> yeah. Dudes. Uh, I, don't, Kurt, I don't know why Kurt, everybody hates Kurt us. said it was his third match ever, and it was big-time wrestling. Oh, the, the, okay, yeah, yeah. BT, yeah. Yep. They, were, they run shows all over the place. Thank you, Curtis. Curtis. I, he yeah. just recently had him on the show, and oh, I, oh, I, cool. I had him very early and then did like eight other people's stories, yeah. so they all kind of blend together in my brain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's hard to, I yeah. appreciate the mention of the greatest tag team of all time, too. Thank you. Oh, Dynamic Dude. No, no, no. no. <laughs> the Midnight <laughs> Express. <laughs> yeah, but I, you, I, I, I like Stan Lane more than I Dennis. Did. Me too. Okay. Still Stan we, Lane. Uh, Tony, did you get a chance to watch that War Games? I did not. No, I was. I tried to cram everything in, and then I started working on uh, the link tree links for every single podcast. So I got caught up. Yeah, speaking of the uh, the Midnight Express, if you want me to, I'll run through it really quick at the end of this. Uh, we brought yeah. it up last week uh, from the Great American Bash '89, the War Games with uh, Midnight Express, uh, Doctor Death, and LOD against the Samoans and the Freebirds. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, that's uh, one of the things we do now too. Is we'll pick a classic match. So did you, anyone else watch it? No. So you, I, let's hold it off for let's let's let's, let's okay, do it again yeah, we'll, and we'll, we'll, we'll hold talk off of that for next week. I'll yeah. wait to one of them. Yeah. But I can't remember that match. It was uh, I saw at one of the bashes. It was uh, Road Warrior Hawk versus Flair. I think it was, it was way this, better than it ever deserved to be. I think it was in this week of wrestling in history. Um, that yeah, was the it was match, last week. And we're like, man, it. that's a yeah. that's a lineup. So what we'll do wow. is we'll. We'll make it a point to try to watch it this week, and then we'll talk about it next week. I think Shivani and Conrad talked about it. Now. Is it that podcast, or maybe uh, Shivani and Jim Ross? I forget. Yeah, I remember, that match was Conrad in uh, Baltimore. That match was in Baltimore. It was like the very end of the Bash. Okay. That was when the Bash was a tour, and I think Philly might have been like the very first one. And yeah, they would do like. Was that the one where Flair comes in on the helicopter into the vet? I believe so. That 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 Charlotte just recreated at WrestleMania. Oh yeah, remember, yeah exactly. Yeah. 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 All right, our oh, next topic fun. here. Uh, next villain, uh, July 26th. This is a few days back. July 26th, 1986. Speaking of the Great American Bash, Dusty Rhodes defeats Ric Flair to win his third and final NWA, NWA world title 34 years ago on wow, Sunday. Years ago. Wow, I'm about that. It's nuts, right? Yeah. Watch on the network. It, uh, yeah, it is, on, it is actually on the network. It's a cage match. And, and this is, again, when the Great American Bash was a tour. This was the second to last one. It was in Greensboro. And he only held the title for 14 days, but that's the second longest run because one of his runs was only five days. Five days, days. Yeah. that's right. Wow. The Harley race yeah. years. Uh, Flair won the title back in St. Louis on the 9th of August, and he held it for over a year, and that was the reign where he lost to Ron Garvin. Ugh. The greatest world champion of all time. <laughs> 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 there was actually a fourth Dusty Rhodes. It was before this one. There was another Dusty Rhodes title win. It was when he was in Florida still, he was, but he was the Midnight Rider, and he, he beat Ric Flair. But the NWA rule was the champion could not have a mask. And they were, they were doing the thing where, like, Dusty was banned. So if, he, if they realized he was a Midnight Rider, if they could prove that they could unmask him, <laughs> then he was gone. He yeah. was banned Free from writing. wrestling. I'd love that. Angle. So he's like, okay, you're the champ, but you have to unmask. So he gave up the title. Isn't that where the Dusty finish came from? Uh, it could be, yeah. That, but then he just used that over and yeah. over again. Obviously, the big one's Starcade 86. And, and, and the gimmick was it was If you really like the gimmick, just hang on. Wait a couple months. I'm sure I want Cody, Cody will, to do that. Cody will pull it out of his out of his back pocket if he, eventually. If he was son of Midnight Rider, that's, that's over. Yeah, because Vince never did it. Yeah. And I always, I always predict that something like that's going to happen when, when a wrestler lo looks like they're going to leave and they're at their peak of their popularity or heat. Whatever. Roman Reigns going to do it. They're going to come back and they're going to be under a mask and they're going to fight the world champion and they're going to win it, but they're yeah. going to say, you have to unmask before we give you, hand you the belt and they won't do it. Yeah. It's just clever. Uh, who, who was the guy from the WCW NWO video games? Um, he had the long hair. He had like a skeleton mask. La Parca? La Parca? No, it was like a like he looked like a Mortal Kombat uh, a character. Generic. Oh, Mortis. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Roman, Roman Reigns gonna come back as Mortis. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if that would help him get over. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it didn't help Chris Canyon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just always remember that character Rest in the peace. video game. Like, yeah, he thought Mortis was cool. He looked cool, man. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's get some uh, birthdays out there. We have some birthdays. Curtis, uh, if you're here and you know week. some local birthdays, throw them in the chat. We'll they'll get them in too. He's like uh, uh, Tom from down the street turned uh, before today. I'm local wrestling. Hi, I'm Tom. Um, well, 
Uh, since we're going through the week, uh, Andy's mom. Andy's mom had a birthday. Yeah, have a yeah. birthday. That was uh, to the mom. Monday. Monday. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. All right, here we go. And so we're going to Happy go back to Friday birthday. the twenty fourth. Uh, Tori Wilson is forty five years old. Still looks fantastic. Yeah, she does. Yeah. You take her now or take her twenty years ago. It doesn't matter. Yep, you're good either way. She's starting to look a little old. Still. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Angelo Dawkins, uh, reigning Raw Tag Team Champion, he is 30. He turned 30 that same day. Wow. Just, I, I don't want to get into it in the Raw thing, but I just want to say it real quick now. They are getting to the point where they're unbearable when they have microphones. They've been unbearable for months. I was able to tolerate them, but what they just did this week, oh, on, I, it, it was, I would do like every single, yeah, yeah, like just, yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah. too obnoxious. And I was like, fucking stop. Whenever they do a heel, a heel turn would do them wonders right now. Oh, they're, they're getting stale. They're getting real stale. Like, I'm, I, I like them as tag teams. I like when they're in the ring working, mm-hmm. but when they're like, even dog, even, um, uh, like both, like I don't know, like the skinny one. I don't, I, I don't know which one's which. Yeah, Montez, Montez Ford. Ford's a skinny one. Montez okay. skinny Ford, even though like good. he's getting boring, and like they were on commentary too. Oh. It was when they're on commentary, it's it was it, horrible. It's hor- It's horrible. Awful. awful. But go ahead. Saturday, the uh, Saturday the twenty fifth, Kenzo Suzuki, oh, uh, former go. SmackDown Tag Team Champion, I believe. Didn't him and Dupree have the titles? I think. Yeah, uh, really. but he's forty. He's forty six years old. And uh, if you remember, yeah. he was originally going to be Hirohito. That was going to be his name. And oh, people were like, yeah, maybe that's not the best name. That, yeah. that's, that was the Emperor of Japan yeah. when uh, we fought them in World War II. He had a, and short, did, like, the hero. a short, short run, too. And then he had his wife. His wife came in. Oh, yeah. She was like his manager. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That was like 2004? No. Yeah, 2004 yeah, or 5, yeah, something yeah. like that. He had a great arsenal of moves, too. I think a chop, and I'm not sure what else. Yeah, back rigger. Maybe. Yeah, all the Japanese wrestlers they could bring in, they bring in, like, the worst wrestler. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he was not very good. Because he was tall. He was tall. Mm-hmm. It was before he had a good tall wrestler. Look how tall like, he is. God, he's damn it. so tall. That's what also, made Baba so ex- successful, they, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, God, Baba tall. was awful. <laughs> yeah. Man, Okada could have been back then, because Okada's a legit 6'2". Six six yeah. Three. All also right. on Saturday, it was uh, the 39th birthday of Finn Balor. Oh, wow. I just, watched, then, uh, I just had a, seen a post on um, the podcast, the, the 2K page, mm-hmm. where he's doing his pros and cons of wrestlers, and he said that Finn Balor does not do a good promo. Well, he doesn't. Well, he is a good heel promo. Like, when he's cutting a heel promo on oh, the NXT, I think they're good. Sometimes, yeah. When he's a babyface promo, it's not good. I don't think he's a guy to give a microphone go out in the crowd, like a, maybe a, a pre-recorded one. Yeah. Yeah, but... Well, his, his, heel, his heel promos were, have been fantastic, like I that, think. I, that one where he was... Uh, I forget who he was against. When he first went to Gargano. NXT, was, the Gargano yeah. prim- promos were good. The Ciampa promo was good. The one he just recently cut where he's like... You want to be the champion. The only problem is you have to go through me. Oh, yeah, I didn't yeah. see that one. I, th- I think he cuts a good. I think he's a better heel than he is a face. Okay, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. All we right. have a couple for Sunday. The up. Uh, were you yeah. not done yet? No, no, you no. Uh, sorry, I was, I was a little bit of delay there. Sorry about that. Uh, so on Sunday the twenty sixth, we had Roderick Strong, thirty seven years old. Mm. Wow. And Roddy's been around forever. Yeah. So talented. Very talented. Hmm. And speaking of short-lived NWA World Champions, also on the 26th, it was the 64th birthday of Wildfire Tommy Rich. <laughs> Somebody say something about fired up. <laughs> One of the craziest things, it's funny we brought up him and now we brought up uh, Dennis Corluzzo earlier. Dennis Corluzzo worked for a little bit as a heel manager in Smoky Mountain. <laughs> and this was before the FBI thing in ECW with Tommy Rich. He had a whole thing where he came down there and he said that Tommy Rich wasn't a Southerner. He said that Tommy Rich was actually a full-blooded Italian <laughs> named Vito Marinara from Schuylkillhaven, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Where he got Schuylkillhaven from, I have no idea. I guess a, a large Italian population, Schuylkillhaven. <laughs> Could have even said Shenano. I mean, I mean, our area was pretty Italian at one point in time. That's hilarious. Here's a crazy birthday. Did not know this young. Thought it was. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Also, also on Sunday, Tessa Blanchard, 25. 25. Wow. I thought she was a little bit older. She, so looks, does, she looks a little older. Than yeah. 25 years old. <laughs> she looks a little could older. Be, 35. Could, could be the reason why she's so difficult to work yeah, with. Yeah. She's like young and dumb. Yeah. Man. How about she said she wanted 150000 for, for the, the belt. belt back? And they're like, it, the belt didn't even cost that much. No. The belt yeah. didn't cost half that much. Yeah. And, then, and, the, and belt, the belt looks nicer now. The belt looks She way was nicer. obviously a Jeff Jarrett fan, probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like that would have worked in the 80s, but it didn't matter. Do you, what do you think? I mean, like at this point, AEW, or WWE are probably her only landing spots. Yeah, I mean, because she's they want to difficult. Do... They're probably like, uh... yeah. So I think mean, of them. I mean, it... she's she's got a, a door. I mean, 
look at the ready-made feuds with uh, Charlotte. Yeah, I mean, you, would, you would think WWE would pick her up, but I mean, maybe they're like, oh, she's too difficult. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's that's the only thing keeping her from she, being side of me. She was one of the um, what's his names uh, with Cheeseburger and what was his name? Cheeseburger R O H. No, the in the WWE he had before No Way Jose. There was someone who had Adam, oh Adam Rose, Adam Rose, oh yeah. Rosebud. Yeah. 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 Rose, she was a Rosebud. Originally. Oh really? Yeah, there was yeah. a lot of big stars wow. at Rosebud. Becky, Zelina Vega was one. Yeah, yeah. Becky yeah. Braun Strowman was a Rosebud in, uh, in NXT. Run. Yeah, insane. Did not realize she was that young. Yeah, yeah. He was born in 1995 wow. and Monday and it's 27th. It, yeah, Monday the 27th, uh, and uh, for his birthday, he got beat up by Drew McIntyre. Happy birthday, Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's 40 now. Wow. So talented. Just, just what hit, a waste. He just hit his, what a waste. He, he's just hitting his ceiling at WWE. He goes anywhere else in the world. He could, yeah, he should have left five years ago. He should have left at, 10 years ago. At, yeah, because it's just like <laughs> Dolph comes out, oh, okay, he's just going to lose. He, he could have used a repackage. Yeah, oh, like, definitely. He's, like, he's one of them characters know, When they repackaged so him where he came bland. out to no music or he was making fun of everyone for, for just going off their gimmick and he was coming out to someone else's music every the week. the record scratch thing. Yeah, I thought it was fun. Like when he came out as The Undertaker and he's like, Undertaker, twice in one year? <laughs> oh, man, I missed 95. Like, <laughs> I was like, that's this. pretty good, yeah. yeah. And it works every time because Gold Dust did something similarly when his, you know, when the Gold the, Dust gimmick was coming to an exact- end, and he started coming down. You know, yeah. the one time with the boombox and the yeah, next, yeah. The fans yeah, rallied really around for Dolph. Well, back yeah, like when like, when him and AJ were feuding, and everyone's like, "Give Dolph the belt, wait, Dolph is a world champion." And then they put the IC title on him, and everyone's like, "He's fucking horrible." Get the I think it was crickets. Cool. Yeah. Well, they were really behind him in that Survivor Series when he was the last guy. And he yeah. Was a bunch of new. Uh, that was like what. 2010, it was just 11. A, it was a shame. What really killed him was when he gave up the United States title for no reason, and then came oh, yeah. back a month later and said because he wanted to he, back. Because he, he, that's when his character was totally dead. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Because he, From he didn't on. know he was actually going to resign. Yeah, and, resign. and I was like, ugh. But just, Monday the 27th man, has some uh, has some big name birthdays in it. We have Dolph Ziggler, and then who else we got? Uh, turning 51, Triple H. The oh. game. Uh, H, you get a, you maybe you'll get a picture with himself for a second. You know, he has that picture from yeah. the NXT guys. And I wonder if he always has his pulse on on what's going on with wrestling because he's within the same age I am. So yeah, there you go. There you go. And a little bit younger, also on the 27th, uh, reigning AEW tag team champion, Hangman Page is oh, 29. Wow, how about that? Old, What's 29 for Hangman? That's, 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 a, that's, a, that's a guy you could put a company around. Mm-hmm. He could build a company around him. Absolutely. All right. Got some more and AEW birthdays on the uh, on yeah, Tuesday. Two of them on the 28th. Two of them on Tuesday. Uh, Nick Jackson, vice president, member of the Young Bucks. He is 31 years old. Yeah, the younger of the two Young Bucks. Yeah, the elite, member of the elite. And then... Uh, pretty, soon, pretty soon they're going to be the middle-aged Bucks. Yeah. yeah. Pretty soon. <laughs> Almost yeah, like the heartbreak uh, middle-aged guy. Yeah. <laughs> the heartbreak man. The point. heartbreak man, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, even younger, Sammy Guevara recently came back. He is 27 years old. Uh, glad, was 27 glad years old. Glad to have him back on TV. Yeah. yeah. He's impressive. He's funny. He's, he's good on TV. Yeah, I like him. Yeah. Just uh, uh, when he's young, he says some stupid stuff on the mic. Yeah. We'll just leave it at that. So did everybody. Yeah. Who hasn't? <laughs> I wonder why Excalibur wasn't on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get into that. Uh, well, here's another thing real quick. So I've been watching old, like, I love watching going on YouTube and watching uh-huh. old Howard Stern clips. Uh-huh. Holy shit. Outrageous. Yeah. 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 Dude, they say... The other F word that's not fuck. Yeah. Every what other Howard sentence. Howard does is uh, his uh, really effeminate gay voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like they, they say, and like making fun of the transgender uh, character. Oh, I forget her name. Uh, yeah, yeah. Siobhan. Siobhan, yeah, yeah. I was like, wow. Yeah. Like, yeah, they said none of that. Like, and, like, and, none and to of all that. the whack pack, the stuff they said to them. Yeah. So. Crazy. Crazy. All right. But yeah, go ahead. Uh, and now we're going to move to tomorrow because th- I couldn't find any for today. I couldn't find any for the 30th, but uh, yes, not tomorrow, yesterday. Yeah. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, yesterday, <laughs> a special assist to uh, PA Pile Driver in the Twitch chat. Uh, you know, we wanted some local ones. Uh, yesterday was Kid Ref Chris's birthday. Yes. I was going to wait till you were done, but thank you for watching the chat as well, Brian. Chris, you're, Chris, you're all over Chris it, Levin. Man. There we go. Yeah. Chris Levine. I forget. I can't Levine, remember. yeah. And uh, also, uh, I'm going to assume this guy's a little bit older than, than Kid Ref Chris. A uh, happy 58th birthday yesterday to Scott Steiner. Do you have Whoa. that broken down to days, minutes, hours, seconds? Scott Steiner. And then add them together <laughs> and then... <laughs> we can figure it out. <laughs> One of my favorite wrestlers to... Uh, Do some Steiner. Steiner math. Yeah. I would oh, hassle man. him big time. <laughs> 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 he still probably never knows. Yeah. He was saying that to him. We were talking about last week on the show. I said where he would scream, "Steiner steroids are terrible." Yeah. I mean, no, I'd be like, 
steroids kill. And everyone in the arena heard it. And he would turn around to see where it, who said it. And I would turn around just the same to see who said it. Because I'm like, he's not going to find out it's me if I look like, yeah. like if I turn around like he is. Who's never see my back face. Back. Right. selling sodas. Uh, yeah. Who the hell was that? That's Boy, great. but it would get him. It, it would really Damn it, Stanley, it shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, would you stop it? Um, that was a funny thing on the Facebook page. What was your favorite uh, quote, like one of your favorite quotes or something like that? And someone said something, and then you commented, would you stop it? Will like, you stop it? <laughs> um, I think it was a gorilla, like your favorite Oh, your favorite gorilla, gorilla quote. Yeah. I always like that one he says that I, I can't, it's a real hard word, the extubrous, per, 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 Oh, the, the external occipital protuberance. Yeah, that. <laughs> I was like, what? I mean, I'm a wrestling fan. I'm an idiot. I don't know what that means. Yeah. All right. And we got some little highlights here. You have what? Some, some you have some highlights here on the bottom of the list? Oh, that, that's for the, what we're doing next week. That's the highlights for the uh, the War Games match. Oh, okay, gotcha. War Games. My bad. I was like, I thought these. The were... match beyond. Yeah. yeah. So we're War gonna we're gonna cover War Games uh, <laughs> next week. Um, so let's let's uh, let's briefly. If you, go by the way, if you want to play along at home with that, uh, your homework assignment is to fire up the WWE Network, look mm-hmm. up the Great American Bash 1989. It's an amazing show, top to bottom. And uh, the it's the next to last match, I believe, is the War Games, and the main event is Ric Flair against Terry Funk. There we go. Which that's should awesome. also be awesome. fantastic. Awesome. Match. Yeah. awesome man. So that that's that's our Great for you. That's your homework okay. for the show. Is watch that. And we'll talk about it next week. That'll be our our, our going home attraction. Um, so we we have some uh, old school pro wrestling insiders here. Illustrated. Illustrated. I'm sorry, Pro Wrestling pro Illustrated. Wrestling it's, insider. Dave, Dave Meltzer's here? Yeah. A pro wrestling Dave Illustrated. Sure. We have Inside Wrestling. Oh, okay. Yeah, inside, yeah. Maybe yeah. That's and so also he, the wrestling. So um, Jeff has a fantastic <laughs> old wrestling magazine collection. Um, you want to you wanna tell us some stories about your magazine collection, how you came into it, about what your, like some, maybe some facts about it, some... You did say the wrestling magazines, right? Yes. Okay, I just want to make sure we have the right uh, what the right discussion. collection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the ones where you can open all the pages. Yeah, yeah. the ones that had the uh, color center folds in them. Yeah. <laughs> the Pro Wrestling Illustrated, that is. <laughs> yeah. So you, you said you were offered a uh, some some cash for your collection. It's that impressive at one point in time. Well, when I was younger, I always said that I would give a body part to uh, to see Pink Floyd. You know. As a whole, with with everyone in the okay. band, all the original members in the band, and I had saved my wrestling magazine collection, which is probably a thousand magazines dating back to the late seventies, when I first started watching it. And I've always wondered to, if if that ever happened again, I would sell my collection to get one ticket to see that happen again. <laughs> yeah. Well, we would. I would. I would say we we'll all chip in for because I, yeah. I think that collection should stay with the team, with the podcast team. It's 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 impressive. These magazines. I know are, what I'd pick, but yeah. that's because I absolutely hate Pink Floyd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we have some. Uh, we're gonna go. You're through. out of the circle. Yeah. <laughs> You're out of the circle, buddy. We're gonna we're gonna go through. What year is this now? I think this is 1998, right? What do we got here? The cover is NWO yeah. or, February of 1998. NWO Hogan and uh, black and white crow face Sting on the cover. So. so I guess uh, information wise, it would have been maybe December of the yeah, year previous. Yeah, yeah right? because the magazine was always dated like two months out. Okay. So, like, yeah, it would have been December and you're getting the February issue in December. So, what are we going here for the official rankings? So, so like, you know. Yeah, we could, we could even start with champions because it's going to be hard enough. At least for me, it would be. But. Yeah, we, we don't have to do all of them. But, like, in pro wrestling, if you don't know, it always would have WWF and then we'd have like the top 10 like contenders and the world champion. Sometimes the tag champion. Then we'd have WCW and then ECW and then. Uh, you know, some independent fans. There's okay. actually a PCW watch I used to go to. Not when I wasn't wrestling, obviously, because yeah. I was 13. At yeah. one point, they, they removed the WWF uh, ratings, the champion, because they no longer considered it to be a world champion. Yeah, that was... That I was, was just discussing that to someone. I can't remember. It was really? one of the big things, the, the, what they recognized as a world title, and it took forever for them to recognize ECW as a world title. So you, you could just call... Yeah. Like, you know, a Fed would call it a world title, but PWI wouldn't recognize it. Title. Interesting. Yeah, and then, and with WWF, it was because they were mad that uh, they, PWI was mad that they didn't let After take pictures at ringside because they wanted the pictures <laughs> with WWF that's magazine. Right. I forgot all about that. Wow. Right. Willie After. Yet at the end of the day, it, you know, when the smoke cleared, they were really the only ones standing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I am excited to get my first issue. I, I, yeah, I want to subscribe too. And I, I ordered I, a t-shirt. I, want to read them. I ordered a t-shirt on ProWrestlingTees.com. Yeah. So I have my Pro Wrestling Illustrated t-shirt coming in. I, I thought it would like, be one of those things like you order t- uh, like a year subscription. Uh-huh. Like ESPN will throw you a t-shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. They, they do all their, they don't even do their merch on their website. So if you're on your website mm-hmm. and you're like on there and you want to subscribe to the magazine, 
you literally have to go to pro wrestling tees and search them to oh, find their merchandise. Okay. Like they don't even like it seems like they just like outsource everything. Yeah, probably. I mean, years ago you could cut out the thing in the paper, or mail it in, yeah. or the book. I got a great. You can always see the wrestlers wearing them too. Like you always see like Doctor Death yeah. with the PWG yeah. shirt. And their logo has been the same since the beginning. It's just a classic, cool yeah. looking logo. The uh, longest running non affiliate mag- wrestling magazine. I think the seen. last time I seen someone wearing a t shirt was at the. GS, GCW? Mm-hmm. Am I saying that right? GCW? GSW. 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 Uh, Chris Banks is wearing one. Oh, okay. Yeah, a red, yeah, yeah, a red yeah, yeah, and yeah, white yeah. one. Yeah. 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 So what, what do you want to start with here, Jeff? How about world champion, WWF back then. So 90, 1998. I'm going to go with uh, Steve Austin. Well, this is, you yeah, said it was probably late 97, early 98, right? Well, it it's, been, it's, it's dated February of okay, 98, so I'm going to think it's probably going to be around 12 oh, of so 97. I'll take it Bret Hart. I was going to say Bret Hart, because Bret Hart... Shawn Michaels. Was, was it Bret Hart and Stone Cold were going through the feud? Where that, that was WrestleMania. 90, 90, no, it was 96. one of those three. It was either yeah, Bret Shawn or uh, Steve Austin. Correct, and it was Bret Hart, at yeah. least in this issue. But who was the number one contender that Pro Wrestling Illustrated had listed hmm. at Austin? that time? It was not Steve Austin. Shawn Michaels? Not Shawn Michaels. Undertaker? Nope, he was number two. Good guess. Owen right. Hart. That's correct. Owen wow. Hart. That it was correct. always the Intercontinental Champion, and, and, and this is pre-Survivor Series 97. That's now I correct. Know that. okay. And that was the where Brett, where Stone Cold allowed Brett to cut him, and during the Sharp Shooter, he passes out, right? Uh, is that the same year? No, that, that, that was, yeah, same year. That was WrestleMania that year. Yeah, this yeah, is going to yeah. be, I'm guessing this is going to be around, uh, this is going to be around like October, November, of, or probably October of 97. And my top five favorite matches of all time. It's a great match. Mm-hmm. Great match. Incredible match. Their match in Survivor Series before that was amazing too. Yeah, yes. Really showed Stone Cold that he uh, he he was more than just a brawler. He can go out and do a little bit of technician stuff. Having him uh, submit with the blood on the yeah. face. I was going to submit without out. yeah without giving up yep. without giving up just and it, and it changed heel to face and face to heel overnight and it was yeah, so that's and incredible. Vince I mean, didn't want blood in that. Yeah. Well, they were told not to and yeah, they just went they out and did, did yeah. it. Yeah. It added. Oh, and it made, sold many shirts. Yes, it did. Blood from a stone. Mm-hmm. Sure did. I, one time I was at a show, and me and one of my friends, um, we used to, uh, believe it or not, uh, we used to check to see if we could find certain wrestlers and maybe not heckle them, but maybe get their autographs, be super nice to them, <laughs> not, not chase them uh, through parking <laughs> lots or through airports airport or anything. And I saw uh, Owen Hart down below, and I shouted down to him. I'm like, hey, Owen. You're the real best heart in the family. And he acknowledged it, but he was seemed really appreciative of it. And uh, I really meant it too. Dave, <laughs> uh, Dave, who used to, who was part of the team for a while there, uh, good guy. He just sent me a tweet saying from Wrestle Talk just now, literally three hours ago, just tweeted, um, WWE generated four point eight million dollars in profits this quarter. Yeah. So They're actually making more money. So they do they really have to really? I mean, no. they didn't have to release those guys, but realistically. We've been. Say- I'm not going to sit there and go back on what we've been saying for years. Like some of these guys needed to just get let go. Yes. they're not being used, yeah. and good for them. They get they landed. Mm-hmm. They've landed on their feet. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to sit there and say, well, they didn't need to release all these guys because I'm glad they did because now they're getting yeah. u- utilized they on TV. Didn't I mean? Were they going to be in financial trouble if they didn't release them? No. no. Does that include Rusev? Rusev said he uh, he's done wrestling. Yeah. I don't believe him. If you believe, believe that, believe you second. probably also believe the Adam Cole Pat McAfee thing, and you also believe that <laughs> Rey Mysterio's eye actually came out. <laughs> you mean it didn't? Well, that did happen. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent happened. Are you crazy? Um, yeah, uh, the, we'll, we'll we'll get into this. The Pat McAfee thing. I thought it was a cool little spot. I didn't like it. I thought it was a cool spot. I think uh, I think it's going to lead into um, Pat McAfee for a second. I cool. hope to God not. But that's WWE for you. But I think it leads into like where they put pr- promos up for pre-show, and they're like, the, the, you know, that, you always need the undisputed. I what, think it's on his, his show. I think it maybe no, I'm just like he does a pre-show for NXT. Oh, for oh, takeovers oh. and stuff. Well, and I, mean, I think they probably are playing promos. And I think that could be a way to cross, generate cross that promote. Cr- cross promote, get people Never in that heard. that because Pat McAfee is a pretty popular yeah. show, and if but that I mean, gets more people into wrestling, if you're but, watching Pat McAfee, you're probably a football fan, and you're not like, necessarily. Wrestling. He covers everything. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. He covers an overall sports show. If Hulk show. Hogan started a show, but he also talks about racing, more wrestling fans are going to watch yeah. the, listen to it than racing fans. Um, but I think, this is, I think this is planting seeds of maybe Adam Cole has to do it on his own and not have under, uh, the, the Undisputed Era. I, I think the opposite. I think yeah. if they do this as a singles match, it might be a disaster. But if yeah. you kind of bury Pat McAfee in a tag, like an eight-man tag, it's, 
him and three guys against the undisputed there, it might be a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would go with that. I just I, like how he said, out of all people, you, a punter who who played for Peyton Manning, is going to tell me that I get my accomplishments with everyone around me? See, Fuck you, man. Fuck you. <laughs> like, I was like, this is awesome. I don't know. I don't like it because what, what, what I don't want the match between them two. So what, you get nothing out of it. Yeah. I but just, if, again, if there's cross promotion, though, that, you know. It draws more fans to yeah. each, I, each one. I, I like the way he came off. I thought, like, if that promo happened on, like, any, like, if, if it didn't happen on a podcast and it happened on, in the ring or that happened as a backstage thing, I thought, I thought Adam Cole tried to come off as, like, a normal human who wasn't a wrestler, but then somehow still brought it back into wrestling. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, well, you're not very tall. And he just fucking knocks <laughs> the mic over, like, and shoves the guy. I was like, he, I thought he cut a good promo. I thought it was I good. I didn't like it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, yeah, definitely work if you believe that's real. You're crazy. But, yeah, I don't think Rusev is done by all means. Yeah. I think, I think he's definitely going to show up probably Somewhere. AEW. Or maybe he's holding off and he's going to New Japan. Yeah, yeah. but Aust Austin had mentioned that to me yesterday about Rusev, and I'm like, it's just no way. The guy is so good. I mean, yeah, he's, he's, he's going to give up pro wrestling to be a Twitch streamer. Yeah. I mean, no offense, Twitch. We're here. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. That well, the other thing, too, is he might be in a bit of a holding pattern because maybe he's not totally clear of COVID yet, yeah. so you don't know. Listen, real quick, uh, Kurt, Pat McAfee's not an overrated punter. He's very, he's very entertaining. Uh, I like Pat a lot, but... Uh, I don't like him at all. Really? I think he comes off as a douchebag. He, See, oh, he definitely... Yeah, I don't know him from a hole in the ground, so yeah. me, There's this whole culture in sports right now where people think it's cool to be a douchebag. Yeah, like, what was that yeah, idiot he, that he, was hosting WrestleMania? To, that fucking asshole? That was him. Oh, was that With him? The jorts? With that host of WrestleMania? Yeah. I thought it was an air guy. No, that was him. He was such an asshole. Yeah. Did he, he win the 24 7 title? The same guy? No, no, that's, that's Gronkowski. That was Gronk. Oh, that's that actual, guy. No, Gronk he was such an, an actual asshole. football player. He didn't host. He's an actual player. He didn't host. This guy did the pre show for WrestleMania on Fox before. Oh, but didn't Gronk host WrestleMania? This is the year before. The year before. I, I, I mixed up oh, my okay, WrestleMania. Okay, okay. He was the one that wore the pants yeah, suit. Yeah, I kind of remember. Yeah. And, and Michael Cole yelled at him. He goes, fuck you, I quit. I'm yeah. out of here. And then Vince is like, no, no, get back out there. We, li mm -hmm. we like you. And um, see, what did, they, what did they gain in a year from having him there? Well, he was, he was, I think he was going to come on the roster, and then well. he re signed with. Uh, when Tom Brady went to Tampa Bay, he he went. To yeah, that was yeah, Gronk yeah. did. Gronkowski, yeah. No. Oh, Gronk was such. Oh, yeah. He came out like, why? Why does anyone like this guy? I don't know. But all right, anyway. what uh, what do we got here? Uh, what else do we got for champions? Let's see what we got. WCW. Here. You want to do that? Ninety-eight. Ninety-eight. End of ninety-eight. I'm gonna be horrible at this because I didn't watch. So it, I'm, no, it's, it's actually the end of ninety-seven. Oh, 90, and then, and ninety-seven. So it, right. it's uh, it's Hogan. That's, it I was gonna say Hogan. That's correct. It is, is it, Hogan. Is it the Hogan Sting thing going on? Well, that, it, that's it's before he lost yeah, the but Sting. They yeah. didn't have the match yet because that was in like what? Yeah, May. Number one contender is probably Sting, right? Or the no? I'm gonna say uh, nope. It's whoever the U.S. champion is. So DDP. it kind of depends DDP. on yeah. Because DDP was having the big thing with the is that the flock or hit DDP versus the flock? That was around that time. Yeah, Raven was. Uh, Raven, Raven might not have been there. Well, it's not correct, but it's a good guess. For Booker, the, T, Booker for, T. Not Booker T. U.S. champion. It, this was a guy. Oh. Yeah, he was. He, he was number one contender. Was the U.S. champion at the Are time? Are we allowed to say his name? Chris Benoit. No, it's not. Not Chris Benoit. Benoit. Ninety-eight. He he already moved over, didn't he? Nope. It is a That's guy that had. Oh, I'm sorry. Once been world champion in the AWI. I know that gives it away. Oh, Kurt Henning. Correct. Wow. 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 U.S. champion. Oh well, yeah, he was. Rick it. Martel. Oh. Yeah, Rick Martel. Rick Kurt, Martel had that good run. Those seventy. Kurt yeah, Henning. Well, he I was a TV champion. I watched the thing where Kurt Henning sang "Oh Canada." Yeah. The night that Bret Hart after after the Montreal Scoot job, where he went out and sang "Oh Canada," <laughs> Kurt Henning. That's funny. It was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Boy, he was he he was a he was a good hand. Yeah, he, he was, was awesome. good. Who's who's the, who's the bottom of the list? Like Buff Bagwell? Who's number two? Who's ten? Um, that's not another good guess. It's it's not it's Glacier. I'll give you his uh, <laughs> his initials. Okay. Or or where he was from, I believe they build him as being from. Bur I want to say Berlin, Germany. Oh, the wall. Oh, well, Alex Wright. Uh, Alex Wright. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's right. Alex Wunderkind. Wow, the number ten. What other companies we got? We ECW, right? ECWA. Oh, is the EC is the ECW? Oh, we don't Delaware. Have, we don't have yeah. You won't know anybody. I, I, I might not know many people. The heavyweight champion was none other. Was it Mr. Ulala? Here we go. It was the son Devin Storm A. Starling. That was East. That was New Jersey Independence. <laughs> nope. It was the son of Ozzy. That's the only hint that. You oh, get. Glenn. Oh, Osborne. Glenn Osborne. Yeah. That's correct. I, I was on shows with him in WPW. I have no idea. And listed as the number one. I don't know if this is an inaccurate, but the number one contender. Tony Atlas? Not Tony Atlas. Uh, JT Smith? A former WWE world champion. Oh, my God. Iron Sheik? Next Chris Jericho. Bob <laughs> Backlund? Nope. 
I was trying to think who would who would have did uh, Independence. But then Indies in Delaware. That was world a world champion. champion. Yeah, a former WWE world champion. Wow. Post. Post this time. So this would have been before he became WWE. So he, he grew up. Oh, it, yeah. oh, 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 oh. Then He's he still went on the there. Independence. Oh, at the oh time okay. Oh, uh, before his WWE career even started. Wow. Oh boy. Yeah, this is. I'm excited to hear Kevin Nash. Is. <laughs> That's Jeff Squins. <laughs> I couldn't believe it myself. It's not Sid, right? Now he would have already been champion yeah, at this yeah. point. There's a wrestler. Yes. Yeah, I mean, here it is. 277 pounds from Truth or Consequences, Mexico. Oh, wow, Cactus Jack. Oh, Cactus Jack. Listed wow. in here as Mankind. Okay, he did ECWA. As Mankind? Mankind? Well, they, they switched. I, no, not, that's not why at I, this point. Oh, he was in okay. WWF. So I think I there was, said, a, I think there was a fake Mankind at one point. Yeah, what they did it, at one point, when they would know your gimmick names, they show how in the know they were, they would switch your gimmick name. And even though like the, even though he like wrestled as Cactus Jack, when, like, when this show happened, they yeah. were Mankind. They were like, oh, we're with it. You know? Oh, like they had yeah, insiders. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're edgy. All right, well, we, got, we got New Japan. Okay, I just looked at it, so it's Kensuke Sasaki. So <laughs> that was, was Power Order. He was in WCW. He was WCW United States Champion. How about all Japan? USW, USWA? You have a good shot. It was Jerry. Lally. All Japan '98 is uh, no. It's, oh man, uh, it's, it's before Kawada and This is, all out, of, this is, all, out of, this is all out of my wheelhouse. I don't know. I'm um, just impressed. You guys know all this stuff. He's one of the greatest Japanese wrestlers of all time. Masala. Oh, that's correct. Masala. Here we go. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm impressed. You it. guys are killing it. What's that other feather that's not your next one? Number, number six contender to that particular belt. All Japan. Johnny Ace. That is correct. Oh. Wow. Hey. That's incredible. How did you know I'm that? That's incredible. Brian is a part. fucking <laughs> encyclopedia. That's, that wasn't even a, there wasn't yeah. even a, a hint yeah. there. And I'm going to, I'm going to like, like grab I, was, I was like, who would, who could it be? It had to be, it had to be Mrs. Bob's favorite. Is there any other that's Americans like, on like, there? Like, that's almost the equivalent of guessing, pick a number between one and a hundred. Yeah. 41. <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> well, that's, that's what incredible. The ace crush we got over. It yeah. Wow. Is, is Gary Albright on there as far uh, as Americans? I'm impressed. Let me see. New Japan might have an American. Oh, number seven is Dr. Death, Steve okay, Dr. Williams. Yeah, oh, right yeah. below him, number eight, Gary Albright. There he is. Wow. Had Hanson retired at that point? I, yeah, I, I know Hanson was He's around. listed right Look before Big John, number five. Stan Missile Hansen. Wall was there, and he went with... Wait, uh, Big John was in Japan? Yeah. Yeah. yeah was he Johnny was Ace. a mainstay. Yeah, he was he a was mainstay like a in deal. all Japan. That's where he did Wait, the Big Ace John Crusher. Stud? No, no. no. But Big John Stud probably did match Oh, I thought that's what he said. No. No, Big John. No, Big John. People Power. Yeah, that's what they call Johnny Ace they still do. He's married between to, uh, between this and the yeah. dynamic dudes, this is a very Johnny Ace heavy podcast. Yeah. They did not expect that. I think that's <laughs> great. We should do it more. <laughs> <laughs> is there any other names on the WCW, ECW, WWE list that that that's shocking to you? I, I was I was looking at local. So PCW they used to run shows in Hamburg. Okay. Yeah, at the one like the I forget what it's called, the building in the back. There's like a big tank up front, and I used to go see them there and at Reading. And so then know, any names guys. on there? I'm, yeah, I'm there's probably guys in there that I wrestled. Oh, the number really? five. The Mark number, Mest? The number five. Mark Mest on the list. Yep. Number five contender to the ECW championship, which was held by the late, great Bam Bam Bigelow at that time. I don't know. Do we know? Like, uh, Did any of the guys in the ECWA list make it big? Oh, no, no. This was ECW. I'm sorry. Oh, you're in ECW? Yeah, oh, okay. Sorry. So what was, it, what was the thing again? The, no. number, the number five contender to that championship that was held by Bam Bam Bigelow. I, gra- I believe he, he was a Grand Slam champion in ECW, if I'm not mistaken. Bam Bam, I thought he never. I thought he only won the TV title. Dreamer, not Tommy Dreamer. No, Bam Bam was Bam Bam. Yeah, Bam Bam was the. Uh, it was like a little short run with Shane. Oh. Grand Slam champion. Um, yeah, number five contender. RVD. No, Ninety-eight. Sir. No, he was never. Uh, yeah, he was. No, he's, he's, he was, he's, he's actually was. listed as a good guess. He was uh, number seven. Justin I'm trying Tedible? to think. I know. I know Taz was a Grand Slam champion, but I don't yeah. think he would have been number five. No, he was number one. He was the number one contender at that point. Yeah, he probably was a TV t- It's not just incredible. Sure, at the world of FTW. Yeah, he probably was TV champ because he had a very long run with that belt. Taz was, yeah, because yeah, he, he lost to un- yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was almost uh, un- he was unbeatable. I yeah, he lost choke to Bigelow when he went through the ring. In five seconds. So no. Remember when he was doing that thing with that thing? Like, choke yeah. you, I could choke you out. Oh, it was five minutes. That was three minutes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember him well. I had an alterca- almost had an altercation with Taz in the ring. <laughs> really? <laughs> the, the, well, the Paul Heyman incident. Oh. Uh, he was the one that was. Oh, it's, it's Mikey Whipper. That's correct. Yeah. I had that. 
Yeah, he did win them all. Yeah, yeah he, he was uh, the TV champion. He lost there. to Jason. Wow. Wait, you know who he was tag champs with? I think I saw Cactus Jack. Really? That's right. I was there the night they won the belts. That's crazy. Yeah. I also saw him the night where uh, he wrestled Steve Austin and beat Steve Austin yeah. before he uh, went that? to the WWE. Tell us tell us a story quick of the night that they did the where they cleared the whole audience out of the building because they faked a fire. Oh, yeah, they didn't was, fake a fire. I, I think it oh, was um, Funk one? it was Cactus Jack and Terry Funk mm-hmm. were, were teaming against Headhunters? I don't think it was the Headhunters. Maybe it was uh Public Enemy? New Jack and Mustafa, maybe. And I don't think it was them either. I'm trying to think who they were feuding with. But anyway, that well, it was Terry Funk. Yeah, it was Terry Funk. It was right around the time where <laughs> they hilarious. where they also uh, went on to do the uh, the WWE tag team with uh, when he came in at Chainsaw Ter- Charlie. Chainsaw Charlie. But uh, yeah, I was with uh, my best friend Larry at the time, and his son, who was young at the time, and not too young, I'm old enough to attend a wrestling event, an, an ECW event, and uh, they came outside, and Terry Funk had a branding iron with him. Which and he had a cloth which he lit and yeah, soaked in he, gasoline or soaked in something. There was a girl I remember part of her wardrobe that day, not, not part of the show. Uh, mm. I think got scorched by the very end of of that branding iron, and immediately people came. Uh, someone came right up to her with a piece of paper and had her sign something, and she had no idea what she was signing. And I was two feet away, so I could see it happening. Which like she was really giving up her rights to sue or do anything yeah. like that, and um, yeah, then you know, Larry's son, he might have been thirteen or fourteen back then. He was uh, he was standing next to the girl who who got scorched, and this was his first show at ECW. But yeah, that was uh, it was something else seeing that right there. But there was another one where the building got cleared out. I think this is the one you're talking about. It is it was Tommy Dreamer. And Raven. And I forget how the fire started. <laughs> All Cactus I re- had the chair with like the, the shirt wrapped around the lid on fire. Yeah. And I mean, this place got so smoky. They said everyone out of the, the arena and, uh, and everyone left except for me. And, it's, <laughs> and I've never inhaled that stuff that comes uh, out of that can before. But I'll tell you what, it will make you choke. Oh, so I put my, my hoodie up over my, my mouth. So I could breathe at least a little bit. And for some reason, I remember, maybe I'm mixing incidents. I just remember Tommy Dreamer had Raven over to Eagle's Nest with a, something wrapped around his throat. He was hanging him. And it was I was like crucifying him, wasn't it? It was crucifying him, correct. And I, I was standing on the top bleacher step <laughs> right in front of them. The only person, well, the only fan left in the entire arena. That's funny. And I kept yelling, five more minutes. Five, and they're like, get down. And Tommy Dreamer's. Get out of the shot. You're in the shot. Yeah. As he's like holding him. And I'm, and I'm like, I need five more minutes. <laughs> so then finally a security guard came in. He had a mask on or whatever to, so that he could breathe. And he's like, get down. I said, I will. In five more minutes. <laughs> and finally I, I jumped down. I, I jumped. I landed on my feet. And I did some sort of like crazy like. <laughs> <laughs> and they took me out of the building. Oh, then. Man. It's a good thing that but, was before Atlas Security. They would have hauled you right out. Tommy Dreamer, he was, he was like, get out of the shot. <laughs> but one of the nicest guys I've ever met yeah. in the business. Absolutely a super, super guy. Um, one of the crazy things about that night with the fire chair is they had a guest there that night. And it was Kurt, Kurt Angle. Angle. It was yeah. right after he won the uh, It was right after he won the gold medal. Yep, I remember. And they say that night, that almost totally tour, turned him off of wrestling altogether. He was going I thought to join that was ECW. It. That's, he was going to check it out to wow. start wrestling for him. Yeah, and, he was, and he was, uh, I think, pretty religious back then. Yeah. So when they did that, the crucifixion, it was like, goodbye. He yeah. ran out yeah. of there, I, I think. Because <laughs> according to like, what he said, he's like, because I guess before that he had talked to Vince and he still had it in his head that he was this great amateur wrestler. He's like, yeah, this all sounds good. So there's one thing. I, I can, I can never, never lose. lose. Like, nobody can beat <laughs> me. And Vince's like, yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah. yeah. And then he actually, uh, he, he, he buckled and said it was the best decision ever. He, yeah. said, he said, go out there in your hometown. I guarantee they boot you. Just say, the, <laughs> say these lines. And then he's like, he came back and goes, how'd you fucking know they're going to boom me? He goes, you're new to the game, brother. <laughs> One of my favorite debuts ever. Yeah. Wasn't that his first match, yeah. too? I, was, I absolutely He was so that. confused how he went out there and got booed in his hometown. Is he a freaking gold medalist and they booed me? He's like, Vince is like, welcome to the wrestling. <laughs> that night you knew he had the it factor right there. Yeah. It took one match and that yeah. guy had the it factor. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest, man. I know, I know she gets a lot of heat, but I think that... Karen Angle? <laughs> uh, I think the two biggest, for me anyway, two biggest non 
really wrestlers that that joined that that the world of professional wrestling and I think had a great rookie year and 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 I think they I mean one had a longer career than the other but I think I think Ronda and Kurt Angle had very good rookie years as mm-hmm. as someone who wasn't in the wrestling business yeah. who came in and had just some great matches. I agree. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, that, that, that that's our topic this week for Pro Wrestling Insider. We'll do it again next week. Like I said, we have a lot of magazines to go through, yeah. and then hopefully with the new ones too. So we'll do some new stuff when my. I, I wonder come if in. the new ones still do this, like for for all. We'll find out. Yeah, well, that's I know they do like indie ra- uh, we wrap can, ups. We can like compare. Results. Well, let's let's I, go I through was, the go through the list of people that you said that you might know from the go to PCW PCW Pennsylvania Championship. So you already said Mark Mess, who's part of the yeah. Outbreak Wrestling family. About Joe Rules, I know. Cheetah Master. Cheetah Master, yeah. He was pretty cool. He was like a white Jimmy Snooker. Really? Yeah. Ace he had Darling. A, Ace Darling. He was, he, he, uh, what's his name? Simon Diamond. Yeah. Yep. He no, a, no, that was, he, he, was uh, he was Lance Diamond. Lance Ace Darling was uh, just another one of those like reckless. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're right. And he tied with Devin Storm, who became Crowbar. They were a big became ho- who? Crowbar in WCW. Oh, okay. They were pretty successful. The night, the, that, uh, the night that they had the Raw that beat Nitro for the first time in like 83 weeks. It was in Philly. It was at the, uh, the, the then the FU Center. And Devin Storm wrestled a dark match. And, I, and there, then there was a match after the show, but I had school the next day, so like, we all left. As we're walking out through the main exit of the, uh, the center, Devin Storm was right in front of me just wheeling his luggage behind him. Devin Storm had like, long red hair, and he always had dyed Blonde. Black. He, he yeah, was yeah, blonde like, at this yeah, point. Yeah, like strawberry blonde. Let's see who else is there. Uh... Glenn Osborne, we already went. Reckless Youth is on here. Mike Quackenbush. Wow. Uh, who's that? Bat, bat, what does that say there? Bert, Bart, Bart Gunn. They did bring him in. <laughs> Judd oh, wow. the Stud, I remember him. He was like a manager that wrestled. Pat Shamrock, who I've wrestled two times. And what does that say? Luke Lux? Lance Diamond? Yeah, and that's the piece. Of there he is. How about that? How about that? Crazy. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get into let's get let's let's kind of brush through for I mean I from Judd the Stud. Judd the Stud. He was the manager. Yeah. Yeah. Um, SmackDown. Just kind of going through SmackDown. Just trying to go off the top of my head. Um, Bray cut a pretty decent promo in the beginning there. Um, match. I mean, match wise, they weren't horrible matches, but story wise, I felt like it didn't really build much on it. I loved the four way match. I really loved the four way. Oh, match with with, uh, like... with Lucha House Party and. Um, Chad Gable, Gable and Gulak. And Gulak. Wow, Lucha House Party still around. It was a really good match. Yo, one of the dudes from Lucha House Party takes a bump like off the top rope, mm-hmm. and he gets hit, and literally springs off the back of his neck and shoots his feet through the middle rope and falls to the outside of the oh, floor. God. In just Is such a still fluid three of them? mode. There's, well, they had two in the match. Okay. But I'll tell you what, man. I, I they're, they, they, if they are used right, I know like they're really he- like they're so heavy on Rey Mysterio, mm-hmm. but they have these dudes in Lucha House Party who can work their asses off. Who can Lince be, was on fire in this match. It he was so amazing. good. Like, yeah, that, you know, you are right. That was, match was terrific. It was, it was a, a fantastic. Was. That, yeah, that was probably the highlight match of the show. Um, I'm, I'm at, and then if, if you want to say who won, Grand Malik, yeah, Grand, Grand Malik, Malik wins. Wow. So he, his Grand Malik number one AJ Styles, really for the for the U.S. title. That should be a good match. Or the Intercontinental Title the Championship. Yeah. So when, and it seemed to me, and maybe they won't do this, it seemed to me like they might be teasing that they might do Gable and Gulak as a tag team, and I'm there for that. Yeah. 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 Um, they got to ditch that fucking Shorty G shit, though. I don't yeah. think they call him it anymore, do they? Really? They just call him Chad No, they, they called him Shorty G. Oh, well, did they? Oh, ditch fuck. that stuff. Yeah, I don't even try, I try not to think L- Watch it be the other way, and then Drew, Drew Gulak will be Shorty D, um, and then there'll be a, a rapping tag team. They made, they made Lacey a heel again. Um, I heard it was a little ham-fisted. Yeah. <laughs> Um, trying to think what else. Uh, Otis comes back next week. Alexa That's versus raw. Nikki. That's right. raw. Um, the bar fight was the big thing. The bar fight. Oh, the bar fight. The bar fight. I mean, it had. It, it was. It wasn't terrible, but like they had the very end. I, I, are they? I think they're hinting at Jay at at um, um, Jeff? Jeff Hardy they're, possibly doing like a supernatural gimmick again. Oh, maybe uh, they're be, not well, hinting at it. They flat out did it because unless Sheamus has a magic hat that paints your face. Yeah. Oh. So okay. so I think they might a do brother like, Nero. They might do a brother Nero or a Willow, Willow or a Willow. Yeah. yeah. Willow. So he way. knocks him down, and then Seamus puts a, a, a hat on his face and says, "Take a nap. I'll be right yeah. back." And then Seamus goes over, and they he takes a sip of beer. Then they cut the camera away, and then cut it back, and he's finishing the beer. Yeah. Um. And then he puts it down, and then he takes the hat off, and Jeff Hardy has his face painted, mm-hmm. and then his eyes are white. Yeah. And then Jeff Hardy gets That's up, Nero, beats man. him up, and then jumps off the ladder, hits him. 
and With then his spot monkey diction. Yeah, and then he, <laughs> well, he actually says in the beginning of the match, he goes, "My brother's WWE career has been deleted." deleted. Yeah. He goes, "But mine will be reincarnated, and I am the lights, and I am the yeah. wall, and I am that bar stool, and I am this bar." And he's like, "What?" Like, so they, I think, and yeah. then at the very end, he closes his eyes and then he reopens them, and his eyes are normal. Okay. And then he walks away. I'd so, rather be Brother Nero. And just yeah. Be so, a little goofy. Yeah. So I don't know if they're doing like a, his version of Willow or his version of like a Brother yeah. Nero. So I'm not sure. It's a good feud. Yeah. The match wasn't, I mean, for being in a bar, it wasn't hard. The bar was really nice looking. Yeah. I wonder yeah. whose bar it was. It's back in the day, you used to use that one referee's bar. Yeah. For all the APA James, stuff. Uh, Friendly tap. Yeah. 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 So. Tim White's bar. Tim yeah, White. That, that's it. That happened. I'm trying to think. Um, the. Oh, shit. There was something else there that was. Oh, the Alexa Bliss Nikki Cross match wasn't terrible, but mm-hmm. Nikki Cross. Kind of did like a dirty roll up on Alexa Bliss. Yeah. Um, speaking of Alexa Bliss, you see the guy who paid four hundred bucks yeah. to ask her out. To get <laughs> Look, I love her too, but come on, man, don't be so, that big so, loser. So Spend you, your money towards something else. So he, you, Alexa Bliss, does this thing called Cameo, where you could pay a celebrity to give you a voice message. So like, if we paid them to be like, "Hey, um, yeah, this is Alexa," like a happy birthday message. Like, happy great birthday. If they got your wrong name. Or like, <laughs> this is Alexa Bliss, and you are now watching the Tornado Tag podcast. Yeah. Like, some people whatever pay for you, that whatever kind of you stuff. want. So this guy paid four hundred bucks. That's her her flat rate. To have her send you a personalized message is four hundred dollars. That's Yeesh. right. So he paid four hundred bucks and sent her a message saying, "You're beautiful. Will you go out with me?" And she literally took the four hundred bucks, sent him a message saying, "I have a boyfriend, but thank you. I'm sure you're a very nice guy. Yeah, Thanks for being a fan. Bye." Like um, but it's like, don't tell Tammy Fitch that. <laughs> Please don't yeah, tell her that. Yeah, for four hundred dollars, he, he could have fucked Sunny twice. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, well, I, she might be a little. Uh, she might be a little. Yeah, busy yeah, right she's now. a little busy. But I mean, she's a little, yeah, yeah, she, a little, if she was available, she's a little incarcerated. But like, four hundred dollars, and like his experience was the same experience we all had. We watched the video too. Like, wow, I love her, but like, I would never do, do, do that. Do you think maybe she? Do you think she took the money? Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why, why not? Yeah. Why not? Like, now if. How, how you how who knows how many of those she's done? Maybe she's done a ton of yeah. them. If I'm her, why I'm would he next. put that on the internet though? <laughs> what an idiot! A, I don't. He's a fucking loser. I, I, mean, I, I feel her, bad for him. Like, if I was her, I'd have been like, I'm keeping fifty bucks. Here's the rest of your money. Yeah, put it towards something else, man. Yeah, like, well, I think that, I don't even think she could do that because it's through the cameo. Thing oh yeah, I guess yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I mean, I'm, maybe he was slow, and if so, I'm sorry for talking trash. But come on, man. Yeah, I know no one's barking up my tree either. But I'm not gonna send Alexa for an hour's ask around. Yeah, he could have. He could have. You know, he could have. Yeah, that's a good point. He could have been maybe not. Yeah. All there, mm-hmm. or maybe had some mental mental uh, issues or learning disabilities or something of that nature. And, but, and shop around for your cameos. You can get people at a lot cheaper prices. Yeah. I actually used it once <laughs> a couple years ago. Tw- he uh, could have fucked Sunny I, twice. Yeah. Is the quote of the night. <laughs> I personally would have picked Bill Cosby, but that's just me. <laughs> um, crazy. Yeah, and then um, that's pretty much all I remember SmackDown. Why is it really latched on? That was me. pretty much everything. I, I actually missed a little bit of it. I think I recorded the replay <laughs> on FS1, and they broke in for a baseball game. <laughs> now, here's what I did. Might have been more exciting. I watched all instead of watching my DVR. Mm-hmm. I just went and watched them on Hulu, where they chopped everything okay, to an yeah, hour and yeah, a half. Yeah, it's so there's, easier. There's a lot of stuff I missed. Yeah. So pretty much a lot. The only stuff I'm talking about is what Hulu sh- yeah. showed me. I, three, Which I don't like. They should give you the choice. Would you like the edit version or the non-edit yeah. version? Yeah, I don't know why they do that. So, but if you if you pay for live TV, you can. Who, d- yeah, d- you can watch but the full they, one. they don't take any of the commercials out. Oh, so you so have you and you forward. can't skip them. Rip. You oh, have really? to watch every commercial. That's, yep. Oh, that's horrible. Wasn't there another women's match on that show? Um, oh, they had the uh, the confrontation with Naomi, Naomi and, and Lacey, but it wasn't a match. It was yeah. Miz TV. Yeah, um, and then Raw. From what I remember, I mean, you had the Drew, the 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 the, the street. Fi- I guess another street fighter, or another no holds bar, no DQ match at the at the end. Extreme Rules match. The extreme yeah. Rules. It, and it was, for some reason, they made it non-title. It was an Extreme Rules match for both of them. Yeah, not just uh, it was it was whatever. silly. Uh, Who wants to see that match again? What else? Ha- oh, but they te- they teaser teasing at possibly Big E making it a run for a title. Good, good. Oh well, yeah, that that's on uh, SmackDown. Yeah, because Kofi's oh, injured. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I yeah got Kofi's my new day injured. Shirt so oh, that's Big a cool e. new day shirt. Yeah, it is pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, he deserves it. They I've been saying that for. Yeah, they should have did it five years ago. Do you think? I totally do you think agree. Big E is gonna it, it, it do a world title though with Braun and Strong and and the Fiend there? I mean, I'd big like, dude. I'd, I'd like to see him turn bad. It won't. Ha- I don't think yeah. it'll happen. Turn heel and, and join. Uh, like Shelton Benjamin okay, and yeah. Braun Simmons. Like the new the, the new nation. Yeah, yeah the everyone's called the new nation. I, I, I could yeah, see I mean, Biggie beating uh Braun. Yeah. I mean he's if, a John if Cena. you do it, I think Cena if you do guy. it, you have him win the Royal Rumble. Get him that big yeah. that big like push thing. Yeah. I'm That'd all be, for it. Do you, do you think do you think Woods comes back for Royal Rumble? 
I don't know. He has that Achilles thing, yeah. right? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe possibly. Yeah. Uh, Raw had the uh, Oscar officially lose her belt. She ran yeah, backstage to save. Mm-hmm. So, and I, 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 I'd seen a post online, and I, I really agree Kyrie with it. Left. Where um, Ember Moon kind of spoke out saying, "You have this opportunity now to put Oscar back where she belongs mm-hmm. as a character, and you can, you could have had a good send away with her and Kari. Like they, ha- like she, Kari goes out on top. Yeah. But your your way of sending Kari off for your company is she just gets beat up like she's a Joe yeah, nobody in the back, do it. and Oscar runs to the back to save her, and now you're putting a, another double champ on somebody. Yeah. Like everyone was like, this whole double champ thing is ridiculous. I'm well, sick of it. WWE always would like on your way out, they'd always make you lose. So that way, wherever you went, you'd be less valuable. That's an old school way of thought. It's like. As if anybody in Japan is going to care. Yeah. yeah. She goes back to Japan, mega star. star with the first stardom show, she goes, oh, my God. Yeah, that, it's a huge pop. Um, yeah, that was, I'm trying to think of anything else on Raw that caught my attention. We have uh, new number one contenders uh, for the uh, the tag titles. Andrade and um, Angel Garza yeah. will face the Street Profits at SummerSlam. I, I honestly, uh, out- at this point, I hope they beat the Street Profits. I think the be. Street Profits are getting a little, little stale for me. That's got to be a title change. A little long in the tooth. Yeah, you had a little uh, double count out with Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. Stupid. Apparently, that was stupid. The uh, the original plan was to do uh, Shayna and Asuka at SummerSlam, with uh, Asuka still being the champion. But okay. I guess they decided they didn't want to do that. That's a money match. Yeah, someday I, I, yeah. that'll happen. That's I'd a, like that's, to see that. That's a mania match. Someday. But uh, I don't want to see Nia Jax. Yeah, she shouldn't be in the. Anywhere near a wrestling ring. Not good. Well, and, and here's the thing, too. Like, she, she has p- hurt, hurt people in the past, mm-hmm. and now their whole gimmick for her is, is she, now yeah. that she hurt, she hurt um, uh, Charlotte Flair. Oh, oh that's so the they're telling oh, okay. they're telling everyone yeah, so now when Charlotte that comes back, she, has a she broke Charlotte Flair's collarbone is what they're telling. Oh, okay. Well, I guess. Not that Charlotte Flair had a leak in her breast yeah, implant her that was poisoning her body. Yeah. yeah. She had one great moment that I'm a, a fan of. It's when she was sitting in the middle for a uh, contract signing for, I think, a triple threat match not too long ago. and uh, She had one, a great match. And, uh, and the ones on either side are double double kicked her, super kicked her, right <laughs> off her chair and right out yeah, of the Yeah, Oscar and Shayna. Yeah, yeah Oscar and Shayna. That was absolutely, I love yeah. that moment. Um, and, 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 hey, if Nia wants to get a little rough with her opponent, then put her in with Shayna. That might yeah, fix that problem. There you go. That'll, that'll, yeah, that'll slow her down. Oscar. That'll smarten her up. Yeah, that'll slow her down. Um, she makes uh, Tamina Snuka look like Ric Flair. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, any any other matches we'll, on Raw? We talk about bad wrestlers later on, bad female wrestlers. Uh, more of an good. angle than a match, but we did have um, we did have Alistair Black getting his eye injured. He's going to oh, be gone yeah. for a He's while. Be blind They're teasing a, a character change. Yeah. Why would you? I mean, perfect character. Just don't have him talk. Supernatural guy. How do you? How do come you out watch, kick ass? How do you watch that Extreme Rules match and be like, we're going to still roll with this? Yeah, this is a good idea. <laughs> like, and then and then we'll have Seth throw up again. Well, that they made fun of it on SmackDown. So the whole new Miz and Morrison thing yeah. is, is they rank it instead of five stars. It's how many Seth Rollins pukes is it? <laughs> oh God! So they're literally making fun of Seth Rollins. Well, that's like when, when, when during the Swamp Fight. Well, not before it. They played the promo and and uh, Bray's like, we're gonna show something truly terrifying, and they showed the karaoke contest. Oh yeah, down. Yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, and then he's like, "Come on, Ramblin' Rabbit, I know you were doing there. That's not funny." <laughs> that, I like that. So it's like it's like they, that was they, the they don't the know it's match. terrible. Then afterwards, like, oh, it was terrible. It's like, yeah, and somebody, like I'm sure talent, somebody said something. Like the talent so- finds a way to sneak in there. Like we're working for a company that's doing stupid shit. Yeah. Um, well, speaking of working for a company that's doing stupid shit, Eric Rowan put a not Eric Rowan. Eric, uh, I'm sorry, not yeah. Eric. Uh, what's his name? Who just left and went to Impact? Eric, Eric Young. Young. Eric Young. Yeah, it was Eric. Eric, sorry. Yes, Eric, sir. Eric Young did a whole post saying that his time at NXT was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. He loved it. He says Triple H is doing a fantastic running, job running that company. Mm-hmm. He has high high hopes for NXT. And then he said he went to main roster, and he says <laughs> they literally don't know what they're doing from minute to minute. Yeah, they are just guessing at this point. And he said if if they fi- if Vince finally steps down and lets Triple H run that show, and Stephanie, he even said mm-hmm. that company will be the top of the world. Yeah. And he's he's like right now it is a dumpster fire. Yeah, and you could tell by just watching NXT. I mean. Even it's, at, it's NXT, outstanding, yeah. no matter how much talent that's gone up and to the other two shows, it's like everyone always be. I mean, Takeover was better than the pay per view. Yeah, you know? it's been Absolutely. like that for like years. Mm-hmm. So, um, well, speaking of NXT, let's uh, let's jump into that, Brian. Uh, but yeah, really quick, they also did a uh, tribute to Regis Philbin yes. on. Um, oh, that's on, cool. On, on, yeah, on he, Raw, and then you had uh, Murphy beat uh, new guy Dale Gas. Oh, yeah. in, uh, in a quick match. <laughs> Dale Gas. 
awesome job, guy. <laughs> um, all right, what happened on uh, NXT? On NXT, uh, we opened up with a really, really good uh, women's tag match. Io Shirai and Tegan Knox defeated Dakota Kai and Candice LeRae. Mm. Yeah. Match-wise, NXT matches were, were really good. Mm-hmm. Story-wise, a little weak, but match-wise were good. Uh, three ways weren't so hot. Yeah. And then next? Uh, next, we had the... Uh, they did do a little thing with the uh, recap of the Adam Cole, Pat McAfee thing. So if you thought it was a, uh, a shoot, you're, you're incorrect. And then Johnny Gargano beat Roderick Strong in the next match. Yeah. Okay. That was probably pretty good. It was. It was quite good. Very technical mm-hmm. stuff. They're kind of running with the gimmick where the undisputed era is on a losing streak. They're in a slump. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because Roddy, he doesn't lose that often. What if, what yeah. if to, to spice up undisputed era, they add a girl? Who win the women's title? What, what, what about that? Throwing that out there. They Curtis, could do that. Add Kevin Owens. I, I don't know who to add. Um... If you turn Tegan, you could turn Tegan. No, I, don't know. Know. I think she's. I think she's a natural baby face. But you could turn Tegan. Like, well, they need an ROH person. They get Kelly Klein, but she's <laughs> terrible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mercedes Martinez. There you I don't go. Know yeah. 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 Did, but... nice. the, the whole the whole what's his name's angle is not working for. Yeah, her. Robert, Stern. Do, Robert Stern. Stern. <laughs> Robert Stern. Robert <laughs> Stone. Robert Stern's not working for her, so she's just like she throws up the fucking. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, that's a good pick. She she, she did beat uh, she did beat Shotzi. They did a vignette hyping Ridge Holland. He's an NXT UK guy who's going to be in the um, he sounds like in a the golfer. North American tournament. It does Rich like a Holland. Up, up now. Coming to the D-Box. Rich, Rich Holland. Holland. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was a rugby player. Oh, well, there we go. Don't make that and, uh, they, <laughs> They're kind of setting up a uh, Cameron Grimes challenge to Keith Lee for a title match. So that might be the, the thing in between Keith Lee's match with Karrion Cross, which okay. is going to be on TakeOver. Then we had a uh, a tag title match, a non-title match, but it was a tag champions Imperium defeating Everrise. Okay, I, I, the Everrise, I know the three point oh, and then Chad, the, the bad bad brothers, Chad and Brad Bad. I don't know, mm-hmm. it, it, they ain't working for me in NXT. Yeah, maybe because they're not allowed to cut promos. They're very good talkers. Mm-hmm. Then we had uh, Isaiah Swerve Scott defeating Jake Atlas. Pretty good match there. Mm. Yeah, very, very solid wrestling all around. Obviously, it's NXT. Yeah. That's what they do there. And then and then we had the uh, the announcement of next week's triple threat match, which is Damian Priest, Oni Lorcan, and Rich Holland. Damian so Priest. judging by how they're doing this, I'm going to guess Damian Priest wins because appa- so. apparently the worst worker wins all these matches. <laughs> I don't know how good Rich Holland is. <laughs> but we're just going to assume he's better than Damian Priest. I want the Damian Priest low-key uh, voice-off. Gentlemen. Yeah. I am okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then in your main event, it was the uh, three-way for the North American to spot the North American title ladder match. Dexter Loomis defeats mm. Timothy Thatcher and Finn Balor. Wow. Mm. Yeah, that was this thing. That, that was a little bit of a, that was this big that was a big letdown. He's a serial okay. killer. He hasn't killed anyone. And, and he's, he's a baby face. Yeah, and he's a baby face. I, I must be in the minority. I like I like his character. Yeah. I like yeah, it, I, but I, I mean, his the character's thing. fun. I think he's got something. Behind that, I really like, do. Like, I think, does he, does if he, he win, win the, the, the title, you think? Oh, God, I hope not. He, I he, think Damian Priest is going to win it. Will, yeah. He actually looks like, if you take his mustache away, he looks a lot like Steve Austin. Yeah. 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 Yeah, he, he does. really does. He's got the but blue he eyes. He's got the face that just doesn't like, wrestle like him. Yeah. What a, uh, like Bruce Pitcher said, that, uh, what's Bell his name? Uh, the guy who won the first triple threat. Uh, the, that'd be Gargano. Jonah Rock. Rock? What's that? Oh, no, uh, Bronson Reed, right? That's I, would, I can see him winning. I would, I would like yeah. him to win. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad. Yeah. Jonah Rock was his name before he was in NXT. Yeah, I would like him to win. That's kind of my whole... Thick Boy. Uh, yeah, Thick Boy. Yeah, I'd like him to win. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's. The, I think the show started off good, and I think people were expecting higher things at that main event. And I, I it let down. Yeah. If, if they're going to have a ladder match, they need to put a flyer in there. They need to get somebody that can kind of yeah. do some yeah. high-flying right. stuff. Uh, uh, we, we're... I, I, None of us really watched. I didn't get a chance to watch Impact, so we are going to skip okay. it this week. Yeah, um, do you, like pulling up review. I can just wise, kind of run through the matches. Uh, Eddie Edwards beat Trey Miguel to retain the world title. Um, then we had AC Romero beating Crazy Steve. Uh, the Deanna... Wrestle House thing, where uh, I yeah, it's like a reality world, show. Yeah, yeah. Thing, I right? know the Good Brothers. It says, actually, yeah. in the chat, it just says the Good Brothers debuted. They yeah, had their first say, match on Impact. Yeah, I was just going to say that there was a yeah. Yeah, they beat Reno Scum. They're being I'm, built am, from Tokyo, Japan. Oh, I am going to go back cool. and watch it because I think Impact's my new... Like, I, I, NXT is, is good. 
AEW still has my heart a little bit. I think I, I'm really I'm more invested in the AEW story than I ever have been before. I think mm-hmm. there's some funny stuff going on there, but I I think I'm really invested in Impact. Like I'm really you into know, the. You know Impact. what makes me zone right out? No crowd noise. Really? Yeah, I zone right out. I can't stand for it. what show Impact. Impact. Yeah, they don't have it in the crowd. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I just I think I'm out. I'm getting kind of invested in of all things GCW. Oh wow, GCW's been putting some good stuff together. Yeah, uh, they had the thing with Joey Janela and um, Leo Rush. I it's so Leo weird Rush. because How about Joey Janela I'm jumping so off a fucking pole. Yeah, on, he's, uh, crazy. he's crazy. Yes, he's crazy. Um, but it's it's uh, it's so weird that GCW. I'm not the biggest fan of like deathmatch wrestling. Mm-hmm light tubes and all that stuff but god damn if gcw isn't the best book wrestling company in america and god damn if somehow nick gage isn't the best baby face in wrestling right something. now <laughs> he is hulk hogan he is 1986 hulk hogan where do, where do you watch gcw at iwtv uh it's on independent wrestling.tv it's on yeah um <laughs> i have to check it out yeah uh, they did a uh, facades are regular there. Uh, Ace Austin's going to be debuting with them this mm-hmm. weekend. So they they, did, they allow other guys to come in and work. Like Ace, Ace Austin's allowed to go there. Well, yeah, they, yeah. A lot of the impact, the impact guys can do it uh, uh, indies. That's cool. Yeah. And I think Janela got like because he had got he had gotten a send off. I think like they just let Janela work there now. Um, but yeah, they they mainly have their own like like stable of guys. Def, mainly yeah. like deathmatch hardcore they, guys. They but then started, you also have. I was going to say, they started out in Allentown because their arena was Game Changer World. Okay. They named the yeah, Game I'll Changer even Wrestling. tell you what, like, if, if Janelle is so much into it, he should he should get Sonny down there for some more work. Like, let, let, oh, I immediately thought the other Sonny. No, no, Girl Sonny, Sonny. Sonny Kiss, let, <laughs> let, let, let's get some well, work Well, it depends. He might, yeah, I'm, I'm sure maybe they probably could get him down, but depends, like, contract-wise. Yeah. You know. yeah. What, he, what he signed. Yeah, or, so we, yeah, yeah. 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 And they, they, they did a show on the 4th, every year on the 4th of July, they do a backyard show. And it's literally in a backyard. Deppin was a big part of it last year, two years ago. Deppin was a part of it this year, too. Yeah. Deppin, oh, really? is a, Deppin is a GCW regular. He is like a mainstay. Yeah. Nice. And, uh, yeah, he'll, he'll be on the show this weekend. I forget who he's wrestling. Uh, a newer guy. Ace Austin's making his debut. Um, Kylie Ray, all speaking of impact, she's making her debut. Um, well, but, it, was yeah, announced, they, they, it was announced that ROH is definitely very highly interested in Deppin, correct? Everybody should be. Yeah. Everybody should be. Him and uh, Alex Zane, who's another guy who's a GCW regular. But a, on the, uh, on the yeah. show, the backyard show, they would all be in their old backyard gimmicks. They were, a lot of them were backyard wrestlers. <laughs> so Facade was Vampiro, because I guess it was his name back then. And he, like, he was breathing fire. He lost the match, but the guy beat him by giving him a uh, kryptonite crunch off of a, off of a earth mover, off of one of those like, uh, things yeah. that picks up dirt. You know his weakness. Uh, off, yeah. Off, yeah. Off, yeah. off of that through uh, two flaming tables. Gotta hit, oh him with, gotta hit him My with the pressure, dub. Yeah. yeah, that's his weakness. <laughs> um, all right, uh, NXT. I don't know, uh, we just AW, did a, AW. AW. Yeah, AW. Yeah. Let's do so, NXT uh, again. Yeah, do it again. Roll, roll it back. <laughs> Start with the big uh, ten man tag. Yeah, the ten man tag. I, I had trouble with... getting a uh, nefarious stream to work, so <laughs> I joined in at the War Horse match. Yeah. The the uh, the uh, the t- uh, ten man tag. It was the best friends, Orange Cassidy. And Jurassic Express, Luchasaurus, Jungle Boy, against Santana Ortiz. Well, the Inner Circle. Yeah, the, the, and, and the Inner Circle. The Inner Circle now zero and two in ten man tags. Wow. They, uh, Jurassic yeah. Express got the win on this one. <laughs> Is Teddy Long behind this ten man tag yeah, team matches? Tag yeah. team match play out. <laughs> Undertaker's gonna come next week. Hey, you're gonna go one on one with the War Horse. Ted, yeah. Teddy Long <laughs> might show up one day in AEW. You, know. you never know. Um, so, go ahead. So, so yeah, basically the thing here is. Um, well, one of the things is Luchasaurus's mask popped off for a little bit. I heard that. And then uh, it was a distraction finish. Guevara got distracted by Matt Hardy, and then Luchasaurus got the pin on him. Mm-hmm. So it looks like they are going to still still go toward that Luchasaurus, Sammy Guevara, or, or Matt Hardy, Sammy yeah. Guevara. They could have used the mask falling off as the uh, distraction. Yeah. Well, they did that last <laughs> week when uh, FTR ripped off Phoenix's mask. Or two weeks ago, whatever that was. And then you had a little bit of a promo for the main event that night, which was a... Uh, <clears throat> tornado tag match. Yeah, how about it? With uh, Moxley and Darby Allen against Brian Cage this and Ricky Starks. This is Stars. the second tornado tag match uh, this month. Uh, the tables match for the tag team title, the Cesaro one. Oh, yeah. We're yeah. very high on Cesaro. Who isn't? You wrestled Cesaro. Yes, that's right. We're supporters of Cesaro, and he's in a sponsored tornado how, how tag podcast yes. match. All right. Just want to put it out there. Then the we did have the champion, TNT too. title match. Uh, it became champion, yeah. 
Warhorse I, comes up short against uh, against Cody. Warhorse uh, shockingly taller than what I thought. Yeah, but I much wasn't, bigger than yeah. I thought he was. The match really didn't do much for me. I think he's an old school style. He does have an old, yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. I definitely like his abilities in the yeah. ring. I'm, I'm a fan. I would like to see more of him. I, coming off like the Cody versus Eddie Kingston match, I was like, oh, man. It's yeah. gonna be hard to top that. And yeah, it didn't. But I mean, um, nothing against the guy. Yeah, no, I, I'm, a, I'm, he's, he's got my like, I think he's good. I, he's much bigger than I thought he was. Yeah, I, I watched a lot of videos. Smaller where, height wise. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I'm into it. I'm into it. He looks like Bender from the Breakfast Club with Ultimate Warrior <laughs> face paint on. Okay, I thought he could, you know, he kind of <laughs> reminded me, not the shit on the guy, but he kind of reminded me of uh, Renegade, how he moves with his hair and headbang and stuff. Yeah, kind of reminds me of Renegade. Yeah, I mean he's much better than Renegade. Yeah, Renegade absolutely. Was awful. But yeah, I'm, I'm I'm excited for him. Do I think he's gonna get a, a full time gig there? I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, I don't think so. But hey, that's an awesome showcase. Absolutely, I really hope. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna be featured. He's the main winner of the independent con- uh, winner thing for the WrestleMania yeah, yeah, yeah. video game. So did you did can you see his uh his arena. It's like no, hell. yeah, they like drew an idea for uh, arena because apparently it begins arena. And it's like hell, and there's like skeletons for the crowd. It's awesome. Like fire it. Yeah. Cool. So uh, not only is he got his an, an AEW crack, he's gonna be in the. Uh, the pro- retro wrestling video game, yeah, retro, retro mania, mania wrestling yeah. game, right? Yeah, retro mania, pro wrestling game. Um, so definitely check that out in the near future. Um, I think very very soon, right? I think that's kind of like yeah. very yeah. soon. Yeah, I'll look up. Yeah, okay. if it's already out, I'm really disappointed. Go ahead, Ryan. The renegade. And then we did do have a we did have a post match angle here where yes. afterward uh, the Dark Order Reynolds and Silver come out to attack Cody, and it looks like they're going to go after Arn. And here comes, speaking of uh, people in Retro Mania Wrestling, here comes Matt Cardona, yeah. formerly Zack Ryder, to clean house and help his buddy Cody Rhodes out. <laughs> Looks fantastic. Does look jacked, but I was like, mm, yeah. I do not care. Do you think he it actually comes out July 20, what, July? Initial release date, July 2020 is available. Now go get your Switch. Is it out? I'm, I'm going to click on their official website here. Anyway, Zack Ryder comes out. He does look great, but uh, hey, here's I don't the thing. shit. He got, I think he got so big, yeah. and I don't know if it's because he was wearing skinny jeans. Is it too big? His legs looked really uh, little, and his upper body looked fucking enormous. This is what I think. I don't, I don't think the name Matt Cardona, I don't understand his real name, doesn't really roll off the, the tongue. Why wasn't he like Jack Ryder? I don't know. I, I, think it, I think he thought, maybe he thought that he already has a little bit of a following with that name with his YouTube stuff okay, with uh, Brian yeah. Myers. Uh, uh, Brian Myers, again, a not, not a good name. The movie. first DLC character was actually announced for that video game, Chris Bay. Okay, he's in uh, TNA, or Impact. Impact? He's their current in, uh, X Division champion. X Division champion, champion yeah. Oh, okay. That's he's, where I do He's know. a bay. He's a bay. Um, it just says July 20. It says 2020, and then it says on the other one, July 20. So I think it's very soon. Definitely keep an eye on it. I don't think game. it's out well, yet. Well, July is check. almost over, so, yeah, so if it, it is, is July, then. Who knows? Um, all right, next match. All it, says, all it says on their Twitter is it's now available for pre-order, so that yeah. might. It, yeah, maybe that's why it says yeah. now. They All don't right. have like an official release date on their Twitter. We should have. But, them. we should reach out and try to get them on the show before it releases. Yeah. But the one thing about this is, um, a while back, Cody was saying to in the media when Zack Ryder got cut, he's like, "Yeah, hey, it's one of my best friends, but this isn't All Friends Wrestling." Uh, we've determined that is a lie. Yeah. This is All Friends Wrestling. It is. I wish I had was, was friends with Cody, man. I, I mean, know, here's the here's the deal. Who didn't see this coming? Like we we knew this is it, it's a swerve. It's just like if they say it's my buddy, you'll see eventually see him. Like. Then it's gonna ruin that surprise and that pop. I mean, the pop wasn't huge anyway, yeah. but yeah, it's gonna happen. That's gonna happen. That's why Rusev's trying to do this thing where he's not interested in wrestling. So when he does show up, it's like this guy was about to re- I retire. Can't, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Uh, but yeah, but like you said, it looks good. I'm excited for him. Obviously, his his uh, his partner in crime is over there in the uh, in the Impact world. So we'll see mm-hmm. him soon there. Um, all right, what was our next thing with? Uh, we had a uh, oh, officially FTR has signed their AEW contract. I thought this was a good line. segment. It was. It was. It was, funny, yeah. it was short, sweet. It hit the point. Um, obviously, Arn's very interested in them. Yeah. So they are teasing it's more of this four horsemen. Four horsemen or Do, now, do you think they do a, no, the four people, or do you think they go maybe a little like they don't want to be? They, they can't. You're do not going to horsemen with five people. But I don't. I don't think they're going to. I don't think they're going to call themselves the four horsemen. Well, no, they, they won't. They, 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 they are. Can't. They are going to make a stable, but I don't think they go with four people just so it doesn't right. look like. Oh, that. I think I, that, I think that's the gimmick. I think that's the whole point. I think they do five. I disagree. I'm I think then it's not five. the horse. Yeah, then it's the then man. it's not the horse yeah. or ducks. I think. I think. And it, you're the dangerous alliance, which is good too. Yeah. I think they do a five man stable. What makes you think that? I think Mike Cardone sticks around with that stable, and I think they they oh, do Hangman, do. they do Cardone, they do Ugh. the Revival, and they do Cody. 
No, thank I you. I think Cody turns on Matt Cardona. The Car- Matt Cardona should not be a heel for one thing. Uh, you know what? I can get I can get behind that. Yeah, I think Cody is his buddy, his buddy, and then that's the that's I think the, the fifth, point. The only fifth person is Arn. Yeah, Arn, I mean, Arn, 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 Arn and Tully. Yeah. I think Arn and Tully. Yeah, will. they'll both be like the manager. Yeah, they'll be the combined but, JJ. Dillon. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe the fifth guy will be um, uh, Sean Spears. Yeah, I, I think he's, uh, I think they're uh, kind of ruling him out because they know he's not. Maybe Arn could be Arn could be JJ and Tully could be Baby Doll. There you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm excited for that. I mean, even if it's just Cody and Hangman and the Revival, I'm cool with that stable. That's a as long as there's no Paul Roma. Oh God, that, well that's <laughs> Zack Ryder. Yeah. <laughs> um, Maybe they'll get Gronk and he could be their oh, Mongo. Oh, God. <laughs> Mongo. <laughs> um, uh, all right, our next thing here. Uh, for the World Tag Team titles, this match had uh, Cole Cabana on commentary kind of being very, very favorable to the Dark Order. Yeah, it was funny. Uh, but, but Stu Grayson and Eva Uno do fall short. Uh, they lose to Kenny and Hangman in the tag title match. I kind of like how they're doing this thing where they're like, take him backstage. We don't want him to see what's about to happen. Uh, yeah, yeah. So like, are, mean, you, are you in the dark order? I'm hanging out. I'm hanging out. <laughs> uh, it was funny. Uh, this match uh, not as good as what I thought it would be. Like they're literally Raw. making it like a legit cult where like they yeah. blind him to the bad things. Yeah, apparently he has a new shirt that says Colt Cabana, like C U L T. Yeah, that's great. I love it. Um, it and Anna J is, is, is the next, smoking hot. Is the next thing we have here is this the backstage thing with the dark order? Well, that that's kind of what they were going to where like uh, they I know they the dark told, order told the to the um. Uh, sorry. Britt the... Baker was the next thing. Britt okay, Baker was Britt the next Baker. thing backstage. Yeah, okay. And then the, I'm, I'm, I'm getting but to the inner circle backstage I was going to say, thing. all the... Uh... Oh, that was, that was already before where they set, like, Jericho's jacket. Smelled like cat. That was before yeah. this. But the Dark Order attacked uh, all of them then. I'm like, that was after they did at this match yeah. at the end, right? And then yep. Brody Lee comes out and he throws the paper in the face. So they're taking the BTE thing because it's over. Yeah. And they're going to make right. it go with that gimmick where they're all bumbling idiots except for Brody Lee. Yeah. Which is like, well, why not? It's over <laughs> on BTE. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Um... No, the, the inner circle thing, one of the things that that segment that kind of caught my eye was uh, Swagger comes in, and it looks like he wants to jack up Savani, or the guy who's on I forget. Was it Savani? Savani? Not Savani. Uh, Shivani, right? <laughs> no, I'm, not a I'm not a WCW guy. You know, so I was like, who's this? A new uh, he was gonna, Italian women's wrestler? He was going to grab Tony, <laughs> we'll say. Is that who was doing the thing with him, or who was holding the mic? For the I forget. Or who's the other? I would one? imagine it was it was Shivani. If it wasn't, it if, it wasn't if it wasn't Tony, it was he, uh, a girl. Sh- he grabbed him, and then he kind of like pet his his side, like he pet his jacket. Oh, I. I and then Swagger's that. like he breaks. He starts laughing. Oh, he has to like. Oh no! It was uh, it was Alex Marvis. Okay. Okay. okay yeah. 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 But uh, if you watch it back, Swagger breaks. Jack Swagger breaks, or Jack breaks. Yeah. And he, like, he's, like, realized that he was going to do it, and then he just, like, kind of, like, taps his <laughs> shoulder, and then he turns around, and he just starts laughing. And he's, he's supposed to be, like, stone-faced, so... It was I a, wasn't paid. It was a fun thing. I, like, kind of I, I went back in the recap. It was Shivani. Oh, was any, time okay. they do, any time they do comedy, it's usually Shivani because he's really good with yeah. it. Yeah. He's, he's really stepped up his game since he came back. He's, mm-hmm. Oh, well, even the whole thing... Very where he, enjoyable to listen. He sat there for the contract signing. Yeah, he's great they, came, they came back, and uh, JR goes, you were fantastic at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's he's better than JR on the yeah. mic right now. And yeah. I, I never thought I'd ever I, say that. I mean, going back and now I'm like going back and watching old WCW, he, uh, I would say he may even be better than JR in his prime. No, I wouldn't say that. I don't that. know if really? that's yeah. the case. But I, don't I don't know about that, but Tony Schiavone right was very good. Yeah, he's just very, he's very good again. Yeah. I don't know. I, I kind of like, I like, I like him on WC when he's doing that stuff for WC. There was a little bit toward the end of WCW where he stopped caring. Yeah. And you could oh, tell the it, NWO but... stuff. He had enough of it, I think. Oh, wow. All right. Our next thing here. Oh, the Brick Baker. Go back to Brick Baker. Uh, it was just basically Brick Baker uh, kind of calling out um, Big Swole. Uh, she would get a she would get Big Swole a shot at her. If Big Swole can beat an opponent that Britt chooses, which is probably which, Reba, Rebel, Reba, nah. yeah, Re- Reba, say it's Reba be, uh, Rebel, or maybe she Rebel feeds her, Reba. she feeds her to Nyla just to select, no, because she said I got a different storyline going on. Oh, okay, yeah, I I I I, I don't know, I want to almost guarantee it's going to be uh, Rebel, yeah. yeah. And then uh, yeah, the Nyla storyline is they're doing a women's tag title tournament, the Deadly Draw, oh, uh, which is going to be a basically a lethal lottery, uh, I guess for women. Yeah, you pick uh, a color. A color, There's yeah. two of each color, and then whoever picks, like, they both pick reds, and they're the tag teams. They're teams? Yeah. So it's, and it's, before it's, before yeah. they did the first drawing, they did have uh, Hikaru Shida beating Diamante. Yeah. Match was all right. It was all right, yeah. yeah they, I'm not big on this Diamante. I don't yeah. think she's that good. Yeah. Now, Hikaru Shida, very good. Uh, the best thing in this match was when uh, Shida gave her jacket to Austin Gunn, and he was wearing it, like, woo in the crowd. <laughs> yeah. And I think even Taz says, why does Austin Gunn have Shida's jacket? <laughs> Isn't she just like a Final Fantasy mm-hmm. character? 
Tifa Lockhart. Tifa, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we, uh, speaking of the the deadly draw thing, uh, well, Nyla. It, was, did it draw. was a deadly draw for Nyla. Uh, poor Nyla. Oh, poor Nyla. Who she draw? There we go. She drew purple. She drew purple. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, um, and then Dasha said, "Somebody else has already drawn purple." And here comes, out of nowhere. Yeah. Never thought I would see her again. Uh, Ariani, formerly Cameron, the Funkadactyl in WWE, better known as the girl who tried to pin another girl upside down. What's wrong with that? <laughs> better she, known uh, as the girl who on tough enough told yes. steve austin that the greatest match she ever saw was melina against alicia fox yeah <laughs> that's your favorite match ever <laughs> she is an idiot and now, somehow she is the only person from that tough enough that actually got on wwe tv yeah now here maybe in fairness maybe she's been training for the past maybe six do you years. think it's a gimmick that everyone kind of knows that she's kind of a uh... maybe but why bring her why even waste money like <laughs> Oh, she was just she was awful at the end. They did send her back to NXT, I guess, to maybe try to help her get better. And then I, it didn't work. She wasn't there long, and then they fired yeah. her. But man, why would you pick up her? Why? That's like bottom of the barrel. It's like you know who we're gonna hire? It's ninety four. We're gonna hire that nails when, guy. When He's you a have good wrestler. when you have <laughs> when you have a girl like Christina Marie out in the market, and uh, Dina Steele out in the Fucking, market. Yeah, yeah. I, I could name fifty girls that are better than Ariana. Lena Lennox. Lena yeah. Lennox. Oh my god! Like. Poor Nyla. Maybe, but I would assume they lose first round then. Yeah. Or, or they win, but like she's like, what's her name? So bad. And then just Nyla right. like cheating. And, and Nyla just yeah, kills her. Yeah. So I, I don't know. Poor Nyla. Where's Mickey James these days? Is I she think still she's still contract, signed, I think. She, yeah. She's still at WWE. Yeah, she hasn't done a whole lot, but she's still there. She's another one I think they're wait. They're just gonna hold on to her, wait until she gets to her past her prime, and then let her go. Yeah, well, because they know runs they up. know everywhere she goes, she'll probably be a big hit yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, especially in, in her husband's she still NBA world champion. Unbelievable. Yeah, she's where she's with Nick Aldis. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Holy yep. shit! Are they still running events? The NWA? No, no, not right now. Yeah, they're on hold. All right. Yes. Enter- Be- Becky shows. Lynch actually. Uh, Becky shows. Lynch actually really put Mickey James over. Like she said, she fully intends after she. She has her baby that she's going to come back to wrestle. She's like, yeah, there's plenty of women that have done it. Uh, she keeps saying Oscar. I didn't know Oscar had children. Yeah, me either. But yeah, Mickey oh, James wow. is one she uh, she singled out. Oscar's older, but she looks like she's still 18. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Oscar. Like this sucks. I thought I thought they were actually going to do something cool with her, and now we have another fucking double champion. <sighs> Hate it. They love that. They love that. I don't know. I, and I'm then uh, after this, explain, you but, had the state well, of the industry address. Where MJF, uh, probably your second, maybe your second biggest deal in the company behind Jericho, I would say, <laughs> cut an amazing baby face promo. Yeah, it's like r- rallying the troops. He was doing a face like a presidential speech. And like it was almost like hard times. Like he's mentioning the virus and everything. And he was saying mm-hmm. every single Jim Cornette dissed to AEW. So it's like yeah. they're talking. Cause, yeah. Uh, yeah, because he said it word for word, like cosplay wrestling. And then he said something else that was like, that's exactly what Cornette always says about AEW. But Cornette's a big uh, MJF fan. Yeah. And so, I mean, it, even if, like, not to say Cornette's coming to AEW, which I think will one day happen, I th- him and Corn- MJF are talking, at least. Yeah. Him and, yeah, him and, him and, him and FTR talk. So. Do you think he would be a good manager for MJF? I don't think MJF needs a manager, but I mean, like. It'd be entertaining. That'd yeah. be a triple heat. Yeah. And they, they dump Warlow. And the best is, is you put Cornette with FTR. Yeah, the, against the Bucks. Yeah. That would yeah, be amazing. Greatest yeah, of all Tully. Time. I mean, Tully or, or, or Arnold will be there. All time. Yeah, but I mean, uh, you just have a. Uh, say, well, Cornette's only managing FDR. We should he's, we he's should there. put Cornette with Private Party. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the if, thing: if you if you had if if you had a situation where it was back in front of a crowd, and it's the first match ever between FTR and the Young Bucks, maybe the Young Bucks are the tag champs, and the the tag titles are on the line. And the and FTR wins because one of the Bucks gets a tennis racket upside the head. That place would come unglued. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, I the lights go I off, come it comes back on, Absolutely. and it's Cornette standing there like, "Fuck you, fuck, fuck you." <laughs> he just does double yeah. birds, and then he cuts a promo at the end. They throw the garbage. Oh my god, it would be amazing. And then he cuts the same promo that got him fired from NWA. Yeah. <laughs> Super nice guy in person. Yeah, he is. He's very I, nice I love Jim Cornette when I. And met you know, him. people always talk to him, oh, he's racist, whatever. Cornette's one of the most liberal people. If you listen to the podcast, oh my god, he is like super liberal. So 
Cornette is so liberal, he makes me look like Sean Hannity. Yeah. yeah he's, he's, so, like, <laughs> yeah. He's, he's not racist. He just thought that it was a bad joke. Well, and, you know, speaking you know. of racist and stuff going on, mm-hmm. we said we're going to talk about it. Let's, let's throw it in right here. Excalibur um, was not on the show. Excalibur not in the show. Um, so, Excalibur, I guess there's a video that resurfaced from yeah. Excalibur back in the. It had to be like early 2000, 2004, 2005. Yeah. Excalibur. He, he retired fairly early yeah. on. The there was like t- some tornado. What was his name? Tornado something. Human tornado. tornado. Human tornado. Yeah, he was really good. You'd like him. Yeah, he supposedly told Excalibur and Kevin Owens. Like I guess they knew they were leaving, or they were getting close to their way mm-hmm. out, and they were heels, and this guy was going to be this big baby face, and he wanted to get some more heat. So he asked if during their promo, like if if Excalibur and KO would call him the N word. KS at the time. KS yeah, Kevin Steen. would call him the N word. And Excalibur gets on the mic and calls him the N-word, hard R, like four times. And even Kevin Owens gets on the mic and goes, yeah, and he says the N-word. Now, this has all just resurfaced, and now they're trying to say that, like, Excalibur shouldn't have a job because he did this yeah. and he's racist. But it's not like Excalibur went on, like, his own YouTube show yes. and said, you know who I think is a blah, 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 yeah. blah, you know? No. Now, here's, here's, and I agree with that. Like, here's the thing. Didn't Harley race, I mean, he didn't say it, the N-word, but didn't Harley race do a racist ri- uh, uh, rant. Everybody did back in the day. Just oh, to yeah, get back then. Tri- Triple yeah, H oh. did against Booker T. Yeah, but mm-hmm. but he did it to get uh, Ron Simmons over yeah, when yeah, he yeah. finally yes, won the title. Yes, yeah. So, in my mind, I feel like they did it for this guy because they were on their way out mm-hmm. and they were going to put this guy even over harder because they would have been going out as a ma- like heels. Yeah. And... It, is it in done in poor taste? Yeah. In today's yes. times, yeah. yes, it's done in poor taste. Even in like 2004, it's a yeah. little not in yeah. bad taste. Questionable. But you see what happened when Triple H did it. Instead of putting uh, Booker T over, he pedigreed Booker T. Yeah. He stopped and watched the entire Godfather trilogy, and then he pinned him. Yeah. <laughs> um, the the thing with uh, with like how people are want like well how is Hulk Hogan not allowed in AEW yeah. but they're gonna last Caliber back? The difference between Hulk Hogan. And Excalibur, Excalibur did it for an angle. Yeah. Excalibur did it on the mic in front of an arena. Where the guy asked him Where to the do guy it. asked yeah. him to do it. Hulk Hogan truly believes what he's saying and says it behind closed doors and got caught. That's the difference. Hulk Hogan didn't know he was being recorded. Yeah. And he showed his true colors as a human being. I do not think Excalibur is a... I could be wrong. I don't know the guy personally. Yeah. But he did it in front of an arena full of people. So he's not doing it behind closed doors and, yeah, and being prejudiced and holding people back. Yeah. He said it... Like I said, b- poor taste, but do the, I, I don't think the guy should lose his job to, no, in today's no, times either. because yeah. something he did back in 2004. Plus, when it was considering all the circumstances, yeah. Yeah. 2004, have... I'm literally a year away from graduating high school. Yeah. And I'm out of, I'm out of school 10 years. You know what yeah. I mean? The, like, tu- yeah. the tough thing, though, the tough thing is that AEW has really, really tried to paint themselves as this holier than thou, and, yeah. super and, woke company, and then this happens. And so. you have a PR nightmare. The problem yeah. with the doing that is. You you can't you can't everybody would get Once, be under fire for something and I'm not trying to I'm you know? not trying to like because I do think there are people who are doing who are justifiably doing this the right way and some people do need to be exposed and things need to do change need to change but this whole cancel culture where they just uh, someone digs and finds that one thing like yeah they are doing it to be absolute they're not doing it to change the world for a better place yeah they're not doing they yeah. have nothing better to do than ruin someone's life that's what they want to do they want exactly. to ruin that person's life rather than. But once Change you as a company process. play into that one time, yeah. like AEW has, you have set your bar to a extremely yeah. high standard. So if Sammy Guevara said something stupid, mm-hmm. he's already a young man. He did it years ago about Sasha Banks. So now every single person who ever said anything is going to get suspended for something yeah. they did 10 years ago. And it's like, are you going to go back and then watch every promo Chris Jericho ever did to make exactly. sure he never said so something bad? So every single guy you put on TV, now you're going yeah. to do... Retroactive it. policing? They need to stop. Yeah, they need a little. They, at some point, you have to tell this 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 can, can, I'm gonna cancel culture. Yeah. It's it's a cancer. It's a cancer culture yeah, because you need to tell them to go go fucking yeah. Because they're, they're not egg. doing it because it's the right thing to do. No, they're, they're out to get people. They're not going to a Fortune 500 guy who controls people's paychecks and the, who gets hired and who gets pay raises yeah. and who is blatantly racist. They're they're guy, they're trying to get a guy who's working his way up the ladder who may have done something when he's 18 years old when we're all when we yeah. all said stupid stuff because. Things the, the, the we just talked about Howard Stern. If if you look back at Howard Stern fifteen years ago, none of that radio would fly right yeah, now. Especially in the eighties. Even when they first went to terrestrial, when mm-hmm. they first left terrestrial, went to satellite. Yeah. None of that radio would fly. 
but it's different. And, and Howard's the most he's even he's like once again going to a very liberal guy. Yeah. He, he's super yeah. liberal. Yeah. He would never say like he would say it, but he'd be like, "This is not right." Yeah. You know what I mean? He's completely changed his tune. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So you just can't like you have to be careful playing in the certain crowds. Yeah, because I the, agree. Especially people, the younger generation. Yeah, then people think like, "Oh, well, they said that, so therefore they can never change ever." Yeah, and it's like well, that's not true. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway. Yeah. Do you have any other take on that, Brian? Or I uh, no, yeah, I, I I agree. It's just yeah, AEW's kind of set a dangerous precedent for themselves. But I I I, I, I don't think there's that much malice there. Um, and and, and it, you do so so many stupid things in wrestling sometimes. Mm-hmm. That, yeah, it, obviously it's not something. You well, here's the thing done, too. But. You want to go back and do all your dad's old promos, and you want to go back and do all this old school wrestling and angles and gimmicks. Are you going to shy away from ones that actually work because they may have used? The controversial things at that point in time to get over, yeah. are you, so you, none of your none of your storylines are going to be edgy or controversial or maybe push that line to get somebody over. Are you going to be the squeaky clean, squeaky clean yeah. company yeah. your whole time? Yeah, can't be. You did it back in Memphis but, years ago. But, but your main guy, but your main guy MJF is going to turn around and behind cameras and tell people to go fuck themselves yeah. and tell kids just you know fuck you. Well, we were on that. I don't. But I'm saying yeah. though, you're, you you oh, want to yeah. be the squeaky yeah. clean guy, but you're going to push MJF to the moon. Yeah. Which one are we doing here? Yeah. So Excalibur does something that's clearly not in good taste, mm-hmm. which MJF thing was was deemed on the show not good taste, which yeah. I can agree with. You know what I mean? But once again, we're like, it is what it is. It's pro wrestling. But you're letting a guy get you're you're gonna you're gonna get rid of a guy who's possibly like your top commentator for something he did as a gimmick, not yeah. behind closed doors. Yeah. It would almost be like if you were casting a movie and you're a white supremacist. Yeah. In the movie. Exactly. I don't know. Well, yeah, Jericho yeah. played right. a white supremacist yeah. in a yeah. movie recently. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, you play the KKK leader, absolutely. So it's just, I don't know. I, you just got to be careful when you play into this culture because if you if you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. Mm-hmm. So if you think you're appeasing them by saying, we're not going to give this guy a job one time, yeah. they're going to expect every single time that you bend or break to them that you have, that they ha- they pretty much think they own your company. They almost want the punishment to be worse than the crime the person committed. Exactly. You know? Which is not good. Yeah. I, I, I just, I, it's just a, that, that if I had to say, you know, everything that, that's terrible that's going on in our world right now, that, as someone who's a, a content creator and st- that, that wants to at least do stuff and have mm-hmm. open conversation, because if once you start saying that people can't have conversation, that's, it's, it's scary. Yeah. Don't, don't show them the uh, Jimmy Valiant, <laughs> uh, Pez Wally. Yeah, my turn, God. You know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let's get back to AEW here. Then our main event on Dynamite was the uh, Tornado Tag match where John Spon- Moxley and Darby us. Allen That's defeated uh, Brian Cage and, and Ricky Starks. This match was a little, a little off. There's a, a, a part where Brian Cage is outside, and he's going to catch little Darby Allen, and big old Brian Cage can't catch little Darby Allen. Yeah. And he picks, he like drops him and picks him back up, and then turns for the spot for the Moxley and I was like, Ugh. And Here's my, the thing. As my friend said, Brian How? Cage looks great. Then that bell has to ring. Yeah. How the fuck is Darby Allen medically cleared to I wrestle? Don't know. That poor guy. Did you see what happened to him last no week? Idea. I have a DVR he, and I haven't watched. He's standing at the ropes, like mm-hmm. doing this, like I'm gonna come get you, like on the ramp. And they have that short ramp, and Ricky Stars comes flying in a little too hot and hits him. And Darby Allen's head hits the top rope, then the bottom rope, and then he face plants. He Enzo Amores. He knocks himself out cold. They pick him up and power bomb him four times, and Darby Allen has no idea where he is. And now they're they're trying to tell us as fans that he wasn't he doesn't have a legit concussion, and they went and let, let mm-hmm. him wrestle this week. Wow. I, like I said, if they let him wrestle and they say he's cleared, I don't believe you. Because yeah. he was out fucking cold. He was out a little bit. That's why Ricky Starks goes to punch him, and then he kind of stops. And he kind of, I guess he came enough to take the one move that he gave him. But, uh, yeah, they gave him the one move, and then they, yeah. they power bombed him yeah. three times. Yeah, so I was just like, man. I don't know. But this match was just off. I know that uh, Brian Dar- Cage went to Darby the Allen's talented. And, yeah. He's talented. But if he doesn't be careful... He's going to end up the same way Jeff Hardy did. Yeah, because he's, he, he's, he's, he's gonna, little. He, yeah, he's little, and he takes these insane spots, and eventually those spots are going to catch up mm-hmm. to your body. Like and he's Jack. been doing it his whole career, and he's going to turn to either alcohol or some type of pill. Yeah. And I, I, I worry about that guy. Like, I don't justify that just, you know, Jeff Hardy turned into a junkie. Yeah. But I know it's a shameless thing, but a huge reason why Jeff Hardy turned into what Jeff Hardy was is because of the crazy spots yeah. he did his whole career. They catch up to you. Yeah, they do. Yeah. And, and at the end here, uh, Darby did get the pin on Ricky Starks. He hit him with a uh, thumbtack skateboard. 
Yeah. And uh, I think I think he had a little bit of a receipt there because he wailed him. Yeah, he did. He wailed him with that state, he, skateboard. He kinda, did he Stevie Richards him? Well, instead of, of like jumping and landing flat where the tax go into, he kind of went, went like scrape, so it just sliced him. Oh, really? Yeah. And his, his back was bleeding pretty bad. Okay. So then, yeah, so then he Stevie Richard him. Yeah. Stevie Richard, the J, if we, if we were asking what, like when JBL shot on Lumini. That was the meaning. Lumini. Uh, Richards, when and he was then, handcuffed to the cage, he just got brained with a chair. Yeah, but no, when when... Richards came in a couple weeks later, and he he hit him with the chair. He wasn't handcuffed. He kind of turned into oh, the chair when, shot. Oh, when Richards hit JBL with the chair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Richards decapit almost yeah. decapitated JBL with a chair. You 100% knew that that was yeah. – I was sticking up for my ECW yeah. brother. He right had there. it coming to him. Yeah. Definitely had it. Yo, he hit him with everything he had with that chair. I don't know how JBL didn't lose his tongue. Because yeah. <laughs> he's he, Steve Richards. <laughs> a big, big fan. Yeah, but, I – He's fantastic. He has a great video game channel right now. If you want to go check that out, Steve Richards' oh, wow. channel. Oh, yeah, he was. He used to own a video game store in Philly. Yeah, or Shammy Mall. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, after the match, they they which I didn't like already. Like they had they showed Darby looking at Moxley, and it's like Tony Khan has announced that these two will wrestle next week. It's like what already? Like, yeah. So what? Brian Cage just like shuffled back. Yeah. Here's the thing: when you hear, and I, I I know like if Tyler was here, he would probably argue with me with this, but like when you bring a guy into the company, he's a big guy, and you book him, you book everyone to be your big monster, and they give him an immediate title push, yeah, don't do and that. they don't win, right. yeah. then you're lost on how to book them for the next six yeah. months. I agree completely. They have no idea what to do with, with Brody Lee for a while after yeah. that, so now they're doing this whole dark order where he's like a manager, not a wrestler, because if he goes out there and gets a loss under his belt, he doesn't look, yeah. you know what I mean? They Now they don't know what to do with Brian Cage, and they're completely lost on what to do with um, Lance, Archer. The, Lance Archer. So it's like, I, I, I the the like the the carrying cross thing they're they're really in dare like uh they're yeah, da- they're in dangerous territory. Thing, like. You can't bring a guy in as your big monster and have him go. Str- you have to come in and squash job. Like, I know they did it with Lance Archer for a while. We came in and squash jobbers, yeah. but, but then you, you have to win the big one. Yeah, you have to. You have to like a loss here and there is not a bad thing. If a guy goes out and like oh, he got yeah. rolled up, like. You know, like, look at UFC. Brock Lesnar got a quick ankle lock from Frank Mir and still mm-hmm. came back and won a title, and that's not even real booking. That's just coming – that's, that's a legitimate working your way up rankings yeah. again. So you can't – like, you have to at least show these guys are beatable. You yeah. have to show that they're human. And it can, One it, of the smartest ways that anybody ever did that was Ring of Honor because they said, oh, Samoa Joel can – he's susceptible to flash pins like roll-ups and stuff. And that's how people would generally beat him in the rare instances where he would lose. Yeah, like Shayna Baszler, every single time she loses is when she gets somebody in the clutch and someone rolls up on her back. Yeah. It's just like that. I like. I, I don't mind that, but every single time you watch her lose, it's the same finish. Yeah, like yeah, it's like yeah. come, like that kind of. She noise. learn. Yeah. yeah. Like I don't know. It just it, you, have, you have to be very careful when you book monsters. Like how you said before, Kurt Angle. Realistically. Kurt Angle is a monster. He should come into that company and legit destroy everyone he comes but to it's contact. It's okay, with. like if he, it's like Undertaker because he's like, well, it's Undertaker. Yeah. Or Kane. Or, like, you know. but even Undertaker loses. You know what I mean? Like, it, it does. It, it takes forty-five guys to beat him up, or yeah. he'll, he'll lose yeah. plays here and there. But like, you got to be careful what you're booking, man. Because if you book someone super heavy and now you have three giant monsters in your company that never cross paths, but they're all these guys yeah. like, I want the top competition. Well, you should be as a big guy. You'd be like. You Brian Cage, it, be like, lost. I want Lance yeah. Archer now because he's the biggest guy in the locker room. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but you have a Darby Allen going against him. What? Yeah. And winning. You know, it's like, come on. But is there anything else in closing you guys want to add? Well, they had the uh, FTR went to tag team appreciation. Oh, tag team appreciation. August twelfth. Yeah. August twelfth. So in two. That'd weeks. be uh, two weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, anything else wrestling wise you want to talk about news or anything out there we might have left? You said there was a, there was a recent uh, pa- someone passed away. You put in the Pope. Yeah, uh, let me let me look up the name. Uh, her her real name. It was one of the original Glow girls. Oh uh, wow! She, Glow had uh, has always had a character, and any thing after Glow, like Restalicious and Wow and all those. There's always the farmer's daughter. <sighs> so I was it's, just gonna it, say it's, anyone but the farmer's daughter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, I like and the, and the the the, uh, the original the original glow actually had a couple of them yeah uh, and one of the, one of them uh, who was Babe the farmer's daughter actually owns the the rights to glow now uh, this is not her we're talking about uh, Becky Mullen uh, she was fifty five years old she was Sally the farmer's daughter okay. in glow uh, she passed away uh, very recently um, due to uh, she had a long fight with cancer oh boy oh, that's a shame yeah yeah and. Uh, in, in the chat, we have uh, PA Pile Driver plugging. They have a, they're going to have a drive-in wrestling show in New York for Excite Wrestling. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, local star Sean Carr will be on that show. Yeah. I believe it's the only independent wrestling show in New York so far. Schedule really? It? Yes. 
I know Jersey's been doing a lot of them. Yeah, Jersey's been doing a lot of New York. I think it's the only one. It's in Binghamton. And uh, the guy I just wrestled, Stockade, he's on the card. I think he's our champion, actually. Really? I didn't know that, yeah. And wow. uh, so who else was on the flyer? Oh, I forget. Somebody else. But, yeah, Sean Carter's going to wrestle. Um, we would have had Kurt on tonight, but we had a member of the show literally tell us, like, last minute he wasn't coming. So we were yeah. kind of scrambling to find out how we were going to do the flow. And then with Jeff's, Jeff's first time in a long time being on the show, we wanted to figure out a flow with each other. But we are still open, Kurt. It wasn't like a snub. I didn't want. To, I don't want you to think I snubbed you. I definitely liked having you on last week. So we'll, if there, it is something you're going to see again in the near future, where you'll see uh, down in the brine box, he'll he'll uh, he'll be sharing his space with Curtis again. Um, but yeah, go check out Curtis in the PA Pile Driver podcast. Mm-hmm. Anywhere you find podcasts, over on Facebook, the whole nine. And uh, Curtis, make sure you I, go over. I, and join our Facebook group, the brand new Tornado Tag Facebook group, where you can uh, interact and like, you nah, can post your you can post your content <laughs> on there good. as well. It, it, it is a shared community. Yeah, he's like, "Fuck you!" I, I do have a I do have the card here for that that show. Uh, it's called "There Can Be Only One," and uh, it'll be on August twenty second. Uh, Silver and Reynolds uh, from the Dark Order from AEW. They're going to be taking on Colin Delaney and Cheech. No, oh, wow. Uh, Anthony Gangone against Gangrel. Um, oh, that, that probably because their names sound like. Yeah, Stockade is wrestling LSG. Okay, yeah. Oh, he's in, he was in ROH, uh, uh, Leo St. Giovanni or something like that. And then you have uh, Sean Carr and a mystery team against a dying breed. Mm. Adon Allen against TJ Epics. And VSK against Brandon Thurston are the announced match. Okay, I know my friend uh, Matt Durline is going to be one of the referees there. Told me about it. Mm-hmm. So he's going to that. He's excited. First show back. So hopefully they have a good turnout. We're gonna we'll save your list for next week. Okay, cool? yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, because um, it doesn't matter. It's not like it ages. Yeah. Well, no, it actually, does. I have to change it. Did you? Yeah, because this this day, who is the champion this day? Oh, this day. Yeah. Okay. Um, Brian, what do you got to plug? Uh, we just did the third season finale of Murder My Dude, episode seventy-five. Uh, Charles Manson. Somehow we went all this time without doing Charles wow. Manson. Wow. So How about that? Uh, that that's this week's episode, and uh, that's. Pretty much everything. ProjectHumanoid.com. We have a store. We have uh, shirts, mugs, the whole nine. Okay. Andy. Hmm. Well, the, uh, on YouTube, uh, what's, what's their Outbreak Wrestling? Just type it in, in the quarantine episodes. Yep. I'm on two of them so far. going to be on more. So uh, I think they release them Friday every night at 8. Or mm-hmm. every Friday at 8. So every Friday at 8. Yeah. Brand new. Um, Subscribe to Outbreak Wrestling Outbreak on YouTube. Wrestling. And you'll, and you'll see them. I share them when they, when they come up. Cool, so. cool. Uh, also and not, also uh, Team Blue and Gold on Pro Wrestling Tees. Yeah. Team Blue and Gold Pro Wrestling Tees. That's, that's in the links there. below. And you can check also Andy out over on Not Cool in High School mm-hmm. where we talk all pop culture every two weeks on Tuesday yeah. nights. Yeah, links below. Right? Yeah. And that Jeff, don't forget to grab one of the the best hoagies in Schuylkill County. Don't forget to stop at Subway. Thank you. Yeah, Thank Subway. you very much. <laughs> now with three locations. three locations. No, no, no. Go to Farlow's right next to the bank there. What's the address again, Brian? 200 South Center. Uh, technically Sorry. 200 yes, South Center. Brian. Uh, <laughs> Don't ask you. What do you know? <laughs> um, yeah, who does he know? I know all about it. They Get are, the roast beef from Provolone. Go to the old Boardman's building. I, uh, you, listen, he, roast beef from Provolone. Listen, there's not a bad sandwich you can get there. I have tried them all. Even the uh, the chicken one. Because it's it, like the chick, was it the, the smoked the, chicken? The roast. So there's barbecue chicken. The barbecue, yeah, barbecue chicken, chicken's yeah. Good. Buffalo chicken. Yeah. Buffalo yeah. chicken. Awesome. I am a special Italian guy. I mm-hmm. love the special Italian. It's, it's You have to ask for it, right? Is it, or is it on the board yet? It's, well... No one comes in. Yeah, it's still curbside <laughs> delivery. So yeah, it's, even if it's on there, no one's. Here. Yeah, so there is a there's an Italian and then there's a it's the like secret a super Italian, the, yeah. su- the super secret tornado tag special <laughs> Italian. There you go. Yeah, request that. It's fifty uh, cents off if you yeah. mention it that way when you order it. Yes, if you mention it's the special Italian. And those pretzels you get from the guy, they're fantastic. We're we're still we're we're trying to get them back. Yeah. we haven't had them in a while. We haven't had anyone answer. The pickles okay. stinks yeah. because. They're the no, best pretzels in, I've yeah. ever eaten. Oh, they're yeah. so good. Many flavors, But too. the pandemic, it, it threw a little... Threw Listen, I'm, I, I'm, I may be partial, but the best way to enjoy a, a Farlow sub... If you get if you could eat a whole, you're a fucking fan. Hoagie. Fan, a, a, a hoagie. If you I eat a... If you, if if you I eat, come from, we say sub. Yeah, same here. But if you can, if, if you can videotape yourself eating a whole... In one oh sitting, God. you're you're amazing. I can't. By the way. I'm a good eater, but I can't. It's eat a whole. Okay. Um, and also, they go best with a gears iced tea and some Middle Worth barbecue chips. Well, maybe, maybe okay, Schuylkill County guy. Yeah, I just think they, <laughs> it's a great combination. Um, for me, I have some plugs. Um, check out the best of PPW every Sunday night, eight o'clock. Um, you can watch it on uh, 
WYLN in Hazleton, or yes. you can check it out I think on it's 15 or 16. Yep. WYLN. You can check it out on Facebook or YouTube, the best of PPW. Mm-hmm. Um, so check that and out. And the Facebook page, the PPW Facebook page, yep. page will share it. Then. Yep. It'll, you can check PPW on all social media uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. It's all there. Um, I believe their uh, most recent show has the uh, AJ Styles. AJ yes. Styles. AJ yes. Styles PPW. matches on there. And Versus I think. Tommy Sweet. And I think uh, the uh, Sandball Show just shared a, a match between them and They're the on that North. episode, too, yes. yes. Yeah, the North, so. yeah. So great match there. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, we have a new podcast. I, I, I'm not really quite at the point to announce yet for yeah. our, our, the network, but I'm going to give you a teaser. If you go over to my Facebook page or the IWP network page, there has been teasers posts about this podcast. Um, and in the post is, are some teaser ways to find the page. So it mm-hmm. is out there in the social media ether. You just have to Do find it. you think people it. could figure it out? Like if you, if you knew nothing, you think you could figure it out? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's a very easy way to well, figure I mean, it out. Well, I mean, yeah, I don't know. If you read it, I'm you can figure st- it out. I'm still struggling with the Rubik's Cube. So. Yeah. yeah, so there there is a new podcast coming to the network. We record it one episode. It is not out yet. Um, we're going to record two or three, but if the first episode we did have a wrong title name because we thought we were going to get oh, just edit that out. Yeah, well, it's hard to. I'm not. I'm not going back. No, go back and put some weird no- noise like "Welcome to the Doo Podcast." Yeah. Doo you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, so the podcast was called the Joe Rogan Experience. Yes. Yeah, it's, uh, somehow that was already taken. I didn't even know that. Um, but yeah, so go check out um, if you could find it online. Uh, new new show is coming to the network, so that'll be number six. Number six, crazy. But, uh, yeah, so just check out everything. The link's below. Like I said, if you're watching the replay, definitely follow along, hang out with us, and uh, go check out all the everything we talked about today. PPW Outbreak, PA Pile Driver, PA Pile Driver Podcast, Farlow's Deli, Blue and Gold, Subway. and also Murder My Dude. Subway. And don't forget Subway. Um, eat fresh. Eat fresh. Always eat fresh. Ladies and gentlemen, that'll do it for Tornado Tag Podcast. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for staying this entire time, and we'll see you next week. Eat fresh.